Hey, Rob, I, I don't need that, uh, I gotta switch to this laptop. We live. Got you. I'm in. I'm in here, Elder. Oh yeah, we live right now. We, we, we hey, I'm gonna pull that fold up, man. Hey, if you're in the building, hit that like, hit that subscribe button, man. About to get it cracking with the legendary brother Rod Hayes, man, in the building. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, hold on. Let me get this uh, chat pulled up, and we taking off, man. Non-stop action. I'm trying to find it on YouTube on my other device. Yeah, it just, so, it just you probably have to reload because uh not reload the uh but just reload YouTube because it just popped up just now, probably. Yep. I just want to be able to see the live chat. Better get it cracking, bro. I got the live chat pulled up. Let me share this. Uh... Oh, yeah. I got the thumbnail I already put up on there. So, uh... hey, if you're in the building, we give them time to come in because I just I just made the announcement just like 30 minutes ago. So, they they loading in here now. It's going up now. Mm -hmm. So, we give them a couple minutes. So, just uh, hit, hit the shit, get, get right, set up. We're going to get in. So for the, for the ones that's coming in earlier today, we're going to be going over uh, some of the history and show y'all how they be hiding shit in plain sight when they be telling the story. Right. So a lot of people elder than heard me say a lot of times that we left the land mm -hmm. to go fight the Gullah Wars or the Seminole Wars, depending mm -hmm. on who's telling the story. Mm -hmm. uh, the victor or the defeated or us versus them the person telling the story determine what the name of the wars is called mm -hmm. so when the Spaniards is telling it or those sympathetic to the Spanish cause conquistadors they call it the Seminole Wars but the key reason they call it the Seminole Wars is what we need to be trying to figure out mm -hmm. Because we need to find out what the word Seminole mean. <clears throat> right? And the root word is semi. Oh, yeah, that's fine. Go ahead. Semi mean part or half or almost. Okay. It's, it's a portion of something. The Spaniards claim they called us Seminoles because we were an admixture of tribes we weren't an original tribe it was tribes conglomerate of tribes mm -hmm. now they was telling the world in the seminole wars the black seminoles was runaway slaves that ran away to florida mm -hmm. now before we go any further with that concept Anybody ever heard in anybody's history book that the slaves fled south to escape slavery? Mm -hmm. I heard it. Where'd they go? I mean, that's not south. They said north. I mean, they mean they meant they said they escaped north. Yeah, to escape slavery, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Is Florida north no. or south? South. <laughs> so all of a sudden now they escaped into the south. And this is where the hotbed of activity is primarily in the southeastern portion of the country. Mm -hmm. Right? So do we got a map in that collection? Let's see. Uh, right here, I think. It's a map. Is that one of the maps you had? Showing where the uh, Seminoles were. If not, it's going to be explained in the uh, other posts anyway. Okay. 
I don't, I don't you understand. see that red line? Okay, you want to build that back up? All right. Hold up. Yeah, I see it. I see it. Scroll down under the key. <coughs> the Seminoles. Scroll down on the picture so we can see the map. You, you see it right there? It's going to tell you what each color line means. Yeah, the red represents Seminole. The, 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 the uh, purple represents Chickasaw. Yellow represents Creek. Blue represents Cherokee. Mm -hmm. I want the people that's watching to see it too. Mm -hmm. Now, remember, they say that they brought us on ships. How the fuck is they getting across the Gulf of Mexico into New Orleans? Yeah, right. That's 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 a good right here. The yellow, the Seminole. <clears throat> if they that's got them, in yellow, red is the Seminole. How they they coming across the Gulf? Yeah, how do they get across if they ain't got no boats? But look where they going. You see where they are going, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is the Trail of Tears. Mm -hmm. We was actually moving in the opposite direction of the arrows. And they was moving with the $5 Indians backtracking on where we left so that they can feel our, um, our encampments, our villages, and turn them into reservations. Mm -hmm. So this is the pattern that they shown. They saying that we went west, but when we read the story about the Seminole Wars, we gonna find out which direction we was really going. Mm -hmm. And I ain't the one wrote this shit. I ain't write this shit, Elder. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm just pointing out what I see. Mm -hmm. You dig? Yeah, I got you. This right here, this right here, fire. This right here, something. This right here, something to think about. Mm -hmm. So we letting the people get a chance to come in. We at eighty five now. As soon as we break a hundred, we gonna take off full All flight right. on this shit. All right, all right. So uh, the um, start is the pictures. That's actual screenshots of an article that tells the history of the Seminole Wars or the Gullah Wars. Mm -hmm. So go to the folder. We had 90 elder. So this might give us right on time. Let me go back to the first picture with you start because they are in order how you send them to me. Right. Let's go back. Let's see what the uh what the layout look like. Then I can tell you where I okay, need okay, to be. Okay, okay. All right. Let me blow it up. Let's make okay, let's sign it down. Go ahead, and sign picture. I don't need one picture of it. Okay, the reason why this picture is in here, you see the red circle right there? What, 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 what? The picture you was just on. Go back to it. Okay, right here? Yeah, we just gonna go through the pictures. All right. Because they all, them, they just in here for uh, reference points. Yeah, right there. The second one, go to the second picture at the top. Okay. Because you already had, the first one was tied. Right, then the second one you had it up, but you took it down. No, not that. Go back over to the left two pictures. I got it. Okay, I'm I'm looking at the other screens. I need to be looking at the same screen you on. Okay, right here. This, this is a picture you're talking about with the red circle on it, right? Right. Now you see what it's saying there? Yeah. It says uh Oxman Bay praying in front of Mongolian. I can't see that. Okay, now blow the picture up so that they can see what's going on. Because you wouldn't know that this is not a pilgrim in a uh, so-called Indian, except for the way that the Mongolians dressed over there was different. Mm -hmm. The leather they used was from the yak, which is a different texture from the leather we use from the bison. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. So Go ahead. you'll see that they, they uh, guard it looks more um, harder leather. But remember, also another reason for this picture right here is I told you that the Moors was fighting Seminoles. Mm -hmm. I mean, was fighting uh, Mongols and they was capturing them, using them as servants and slaves. And that's who they brought over here and passed off as $5 Indians. Mm -hmm. This just showing you a Moor doing a lot in front of the Mongols that's obviously about to kill his ass. 
That's fire, sure. man. Teach them up. Yep. Okay, now, this picture right here is important. You see those swords on their hat? Mm -hmm. All of them were sworn by deaf folks, including Kirkman Bay. Mm -hmm. But he couldn't leave Millie Ill in there because he was dirty too. Right? He was dirty. Yep. So uh, it was a couple of more people that left the Morris Science Temple after the funeral of Noble Drew Ali, but they became FOI later on. Hmm. But we're not going to get into that. That's going to sidetrack us. But the reason we got this them. picture is so you can see these motherfuckers are sworn to secrecy. That's Gerald Ford at the top right. See Kirkman Bay top center. That's motherfucking J. Edgar Hoover top left. Um, I think that's Eisenhower on the bottom left, and that's an actor. I forgot his name. But they all, that's all from the ancient I know these are three with president. So sure. mm -hmm. this all the Arab ancient Arabic order, the nobles of the mystic shrine. Mm -hmm. Right? That's what that's all about. Okay, go on the next picture. <laughs> this is a crest of the black nobility. That's how black them niggas is. We black, but we ain't that black. Uh -huh. That's because well, their heart is that black. Straight chaos beings. But they ain't the chaos beings like we are. We chaos beings from the order of the light. Yeah. So they come over here with a different energy. Tell me, that's the cross, president of the same. The president of the same is Truman. Okay, now, notice the colors. Yeah. Colors is always important. All right, let's go on to the next one. These are Mongols and Huns, or what it say at the top? It says... That's Latin. We ain't got to try to read it. It's Latin. Oh, shit. Yeah. Look at the bottom of it, see if it got something written in English. No, nah, that's, that's the whole picture right there. Okay, the, these are the same motherfuckers they passing off as five dollar Indians, mixed with pale skinned Europeans. Okay, let's go. I wanted them to see what it they look about like. The type of uh, the type of race, but like, yeah, it, it says something about the type of race that what and I, I know this, this right here is like Latin. It's what Q is what typo like type. yeah other Asiatic continent. Yeah, what types of races from the yeah. Asiatic continent? Yep, that's what it's saying. Yeah, I didn't want to translate it. So. Yeah, yeah, but <laughs> since, since you, you pushed know, the you issue know, you off of over time, or just seeing different shit, I, I can just translate some of it because I know a little bit of Spanish. Okay, now look at these people. Yeah, this is a picture of your Seminole Nation fighting against the uh, enemy. This is what we looked at like. This is how we dress. Mm hmm. That's right. Now up. you notice we got different styles of dress, different head. Yeah, that's because we're a conglomeration of tribes right now. Mm hmm. That's fire. Okay, let's go on to the next one. That's fire. How you got there right there? Okay, that's the map we went over earlier. Right. <clears throat> now, what this say? The goal of Seminole to beat U.S. Army, Christmas Day, 1837, the Battle of Lake Oka Okeechobee. Okeechobee. That was one of the uh, one of the most definitive battles to curb the um, people being taken as prisoners of war and used as servants mm -hmm. that they called the slave system, which we're going to get to that in a minute, because we need to find out what they really was doing with this emancipation shit. Mm hmm. Okay, let's go on to the next one. Okay, now let's read what this say. It says, the Seminole Wars, three related military conflicts in Florida between the United States and the Seminole, citizens of a Native American nation. Now look what it says. This is important which formed in the region during the early 1700s. 
That means that before the 1700s, what we know as Seminoles wasn't formed. Exactly. Go ahead. Right. Now look what it says. Hostilities commenced in 1816 and continued through 1858 with two periods of uneasy truce between acts of conflict. You see what it says now, right? Yeah. yeah. All right. Now, this is, notice they call it the Seminole Wars. Mm-hmm. We ain't never had no truce with them motherfuckers is what they not telling you. But let's go on to the next yeah, one. That's right. We ain't never back down. Go ahead. Now notice the name at the top of that. Yep. See the year? Yep. 1739, 1858. Now mm -hmm. read what it said at the bottom of the picture. The real, real some... I can't, I can't, the real, real reason, reason U.S. Reason. chattel slavery ended. Okay, all right. Yeah. That's deep. Okay, so in the in the book Moors and Freemasonry, it said that the Moors was taking um, different people hostages, and according to their level, they would auction them back off. Hmm. Keep that in mind. Remember, slaves are supposed to have been auctioned. Yeah. But now in the Moorish... The prisons of war. Right. In the Moorish description, though, they saying that they were captives in war that they was auctioning off. I'm, I'm going to put that up on our next one. I'm going to bring that book out yeah, so I can fire. show you what I'm talking about. Go ahead. That's fire. Okay, now let's go on in because we're about to start getting into some serious reading now. It's we got 200 people in this joint. It's getting down. It's going live. Mm-hmm. All right. Okay, this is just another showing you the true wars that ended chattel slavery in the U.S. And they saying it was the North versus the South. And they told us the North was the ones trying to abolish slavery, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I've been saying the whole time we didn't believe in slavery over here. Right? Yep. So... Why in the, all of a sudden, if the North is fighting to abolish slavery, why are they hostile to this group of people? Right. It ain't making no sense, is it? Nope. Okay. Um, let's see what the next picture is. I might have you go to the Google for a minute, but I need to see the next picture first so I know where we at in the um, yeah. spread. That's important. See what it say under there? you messy. Uh, go to get you wars. The unconquered. You see, it say unconquered, right? Yeah, unconquered. Who in the fuck is the Yamasi? Right. Yeah, I know who they is, but like, say, do, do he look? Do he look like he came from motherfucking uh, Asia? Nah, he looked like he came from West Africa with the Maladi and Moors, the Mandingos, uh, Mansa Moose, and them. Oh, he act like, or he looked more like he came from one of these tribes over here. Oh, he came from the, the Yamasis who mixed in with the uh, Washita, who became the Maladian, the, the Maladian Moors. They came over here and they dressed like that dude just dressed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go to the next picture. Right, because before I start reading what I want to get into, this showing you a picture of actual people that's called Seminoles. Mm -hmm. We need to know what the people look like that we're talking about while we're talking about them so we can have the right um, image in our mind while we talk about these people. Yeah, that's right. That's, that's good. All right, so this is what they look like. I might might be a couple more before we get to the article, but keep going. All right. Okay, this is the article. Now, stop right here. Go to Google. Because we need to find out what this emancipation shit is. Look up um, emancipation etymology. <clears throat> oh, shit. Okay, I didn't, I didn't even type it.
the term emancipation derived from emancipatio pacy pacy a pole spread that action. out so you can see the etymology of the word at the bottom of that same post. Okay, uh, let me blow it up because you're gonna find out that it means to, to transfer property, yeah, which turn stems because capital. Okay, let me blow it up. Agility means a free person for previous restraints of legal disability. Or mm, that's that's not giving you the etymology of the word, though. Go, yeah, back. go back. Okay, go back. All right, this uh, might be it right here. Setting free. Um, seat set free from control. Uh, so slavery. Which one you want me to pull up? Because uh, it's mostly talking about to the free from restraints, control, or power of another. Experience. We need that. Oh, you spelled it wrong at the top. You spelled emancipation wrong. It's with an E. Yeah, I got it with an E right here. I got it with an E. At the top in the search bar? No, nah, no, nah, not to my life. Not at the search bar, but I got it with No, an e. when you go to the search bar, put it in there right. It's going to pull up the etymology of the word. Yeah, see, I got it right here. I got the E on there now. It's the same thing. Right, but it's not giving you what we're looking for. You got to write it right in the search box to get the part we're looking for. Yeah, I got it written, written in the search box. Okay, right now there. let's go back to the top. All right. I, I think you might be delayed. Your stream might be delayed on what you're watching because I, I got the... Uh... Okay, look. Okay, all right. The etymology, the term emancipation derives from emancipo, emancipatio, the act of liberating a child from paternal authority, which in turn stems from e manu capri, or capture from someone else's hands. It's a transfer of property in truth. Right? Yeah. It's because that's what it's saying right there. Where uh, um, we're saying liberating the child from the paternal authority, mm -hmm. which in turn stems from e manu capiri, capture from someone else's hands. Mm -hmm. That means the state, Abraham Lincoln representing the corporation, took the slaves from the from the or took the uh, POWs from the agents that was holding them in a private capacity and made them become uh, a, a manumission servant. Put the term manumission in there, M-A-N. Oh, Put the search bar out. What, say it, spell it again. M-A-N-U-M-I-S-S-I-O-N. -S this is a trustee status of a servant. And another word for that is subjects, right? Subjects. No, no, no. Just, just pull it up. Let's see what it say. Read what it say. It says it comes from the old French manual mission, meaning freedom, emancipation, and it comes directly from Latin manu manu mission, meaning uh, freeing of a slave. It is deprived from the word manu, meaning hand. And the same root applies to the word manually and mirrors. Mirrors means let's go. Okay, let's now, go. the reason why I have you looking this word up is a legal doctrine called mm -hmm. meritorious manumission. Mm -hmm. So uh, take out etymology and in front of that, put meritorious and I'll spell it for you. Okay, go in front of that word. M-E-R-I-T-O-R-I-U-S. Can you read what it say? I can't see it on the um unless I wait for it to come in on the other one.
Okay, so the term meritorious manumission comes from the Meritorious Manumission Act of 1710 in the United States, which authorized the legal emancipation of slaves or improvement in their status in return for certain good deeds. Such deeds could include saving a so-called white person's life or saving a white person's property. Right. So this is when they start giving the name uh, freedmen out to the ones who had meritorious manumission. Now, it's the same thing as having trustee status on the plantation. Can you hear me? Oh, shit. I can now. Oh damn! I was trying. I was uh, reading it. Then I thought y'all was hearing me. Then you started. Uh, you must have been on mute because I just started reading. All right. Okay, all right. Okay, all right. My bad. Can you hear me? I can hear you down. Oh, that's what I said. They fuck with my shit or something. All right. Uh, where you want me to go now? Okay. Now, now that we understand that meritorious manumission is trustee status. Trustee status comes by emancipation, which is right in the document or the doctrine of meritorious manumission. If you look right there, you will see where it say emancipation, legal emancipation of slaves. Mm -hmm. But it don't always mean freedom because it all can mean improvement in their status. You keep hearing everybody talking about status correction, right? Mm-hmm. This is what they're talking about, right? You, you, you trying to upgrade to be a slave catcher or trying, why you always think they got the nigga holding the whip on the plantation? What? You think that's a coincidence? Nope. He earned, he, he moving up the motherfucking food chain. Fiddle on the motherfucking roof. Yeah, okay, fiddle. now let's go, let's go back to the folder so we can read these. Uh, fiddle. Read this description of what's going on with the Seminole Wars. <clears throat> All right. The first thing out the gate the Seminole people of Florida and Oklahoma, that's two drastically different locations. Mm -hmm. That's right. Notice what they say next did not originate from a single ancestral tribe. Remember I told you, we came from every fucking clan to fight. Yep, that's right. It's telling you right here, out the gate, the Seminole people of Florida and Oklahoma, you got to let that sink in, the distance between Florida and Oklahoma mm -hmm. did not originate from a single ancestral tribe. The nation's that would merge, you see that word? That means they came together. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. To become the Seminoles began appearing in Florida around 1750. That's a, a Q50 flip for me. Mm -hmm. But anyway, Creeks, Muscogee, and other Muscogee peoples were fleeing white encroachment on their lands in the buildup to the final French and Indian War. Stop. What? They was never running from encroachment on the land. Everybody was going to the southeast to fight the goddamn conquistadors because we knew what they did in South America. Man, this is heavy. Go ahead. Don't let this go over your head. <laughs> All right. Another group. Now, we're going to add another group. Was also seeking freedom in slave blacks. Come on now. Come on, man. If they're going to push the slave doctrine, that's why you know this is not us telling the stories. This is the um, the enemy telling the story because he calling us enslaved blacks. We knew yep. we went to fight in a war. We didn't go over there to be free. Mm -hmm. We went to kill something to get killed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Some blacks had already fled their masters. I mean, they wasn't all, they wasn't slaves already. Mm -hmm. Emerging as the Gullah people of Georgia and South Carolina make that shit make sense, Elder. That's right. 
That's right. Some blacks had already fled their masters. You on the end. Emerging as the gullah people of South Carolina. Them motherfuckers been there for hundreds of thousands of years. You on their ass, bro. You on their ass. Oh. Now look what it say. They kept a few of their African traditions and re and remnants of their language alive. Remember we talked about speaking pigeon. Yeah. Right? They were lured by the Spanish. See what you're saying, right? The Spanish yeah. promises of wages if the Blacks would agree to join the Spanish garrisons of Florida. Now, why wouldn't the fuck would we join the enemy? Right. But they wasn't passing themselves off as Spaniards. They was passing themselves off as Moors. Yeah. The Gullah and other Blacks both escaped slaves and freedmen. That's two classifications in law. That's right soon discover that army life wasn't any better than slavery. Look at it, bro. Look at it. That's just on the first page in the discussion of the Gullah Wars. Now, they telling you right here, this is how you know the enemy telling us the story. Some Blacks had already fled their masters emerging as the Gullah people. Mm -hmm. Ask any motherfucker that's Gullah, Gullah get you, where the fuck they come from before 1492, and they gonna point to the same part of the country. Yeah, yeah. There is uh, commemorative buildings on islands just off the um, coast down there that very few people even know exist. Off the coast of South Carolina and North Carolina. Yeah, like Jekyll Island is like off of Georgia, right? Um, I forgot where Jekyll Island yeah, was. Yeah, Jekyll Island. It's like off of Trust of Georgia, I think. So okay, ahead. let's move on to the next page. Uh, we, 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 we in class now. We might as well go oh, yeah, class and shit on you down. Crack, you cracking heads, man. You twisted caps. Okay. Let's see the picture at the top so we, we can see what we're talking about. It's cut off right there. It's, it's cut, cut off right there. Okay. One such man was John Horse or Gopher John. That tell me he was indigenous. If his name was Gopher John, he was probably one a tunnel rat. Yeah, yeah, a twa. Mm -hmm. The son of a Seminole father and an escaped slave mother. He was considered a slave by both whites and natives. That's a contradiction right there. Yeah, come on, man. Nominally, he belonged to Chief McCanopy. A skilled warrior who could speak English, he was useful to the Seminoles as the interpreter and often joined forces with the Osceola. Osceola, now you, you see they keep adding tribes in here, right? Yeah, right. Right, I ain't the only one seeing this, right? Yeah, I'm watching. Okay, Osceola may have been married to a black woman. This is the name of a tribe, by the way, Osceola. They trying to pass it off as a person here. Mm-hmm. So sources aren't definite on this point. He abhorred the idea of slavery. What I tell you, we didn't we didn't do that shit. That, that's not our culture. Yeah. And was willing to work with John and another black Seminole leader, Abraham. Hmm. I wonder if that's Lincoln. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, right. The nigga that they said that was that made white. The real, the real Lincoln was uh uh he Ooh. was from Barbados. Yeah. I got you. Right? right to you. make sure that the Blacks were not used as bargaining chip in treaties with the whites. So now we got to go back to who making treaties with the white folks. Yeah, go back with that. It ain't, ain't us. Damn. This telling you right here that we ain't the ones doing the treaties. Damn, go ahead. The Moors making the treaties. It, it, look, it, it's like this, man. You come pick me up at my grandmama house you say, hey, we finna go move in these people's house, but I need you to act like you belong there and sign the paperwork. Yeah. That's what they did. All right, let's keep going. Scroll down on that picture so we can see the bottom of it. Okay, it say, uh, requiring natives to disclose the whereabouts of black Seminole villages 
or any promises to return black slaves to their former owners. Now, how are we gonna go along with that if we are already uh, against slavery? It's yeah. telling you right here that we don't agree with it, but they telling us to participate in it. Make that shit make sense. <laughs> That's some crazy shit, right? Okay, you see the you see the people right there. Those are um, Gullah. Get you. Yep. Now you see he got he look like Chicken George, don't he? Yep. Same people from all uh, that uh, Bumpy Johnson from. Mm hmm. The Geechies. Okay. Let's keep going. We we just going over a little history, and we just seeing. Mm hmm. Hey, ball clap this claim. Oh, this right the same one we just read. Ball clap this claim, oh, man. He cracking heads and twisted caps on this joint, man. Right? Hit that like, hit that subscribe button, hit that cash app, man. We got the brother Rod Hayes cash app in the links, man. C come on with it, Rod. That's what you got, man. Let's hear what you got. Go on to the top of the page. Let's get it in. All right, top one right there. That might be the second half for the next page. Okay, hold up. Let me, uh, hold on, let me go back. I think we just read this one. That's the one we just read. Okay, then this, this right here, the next one. Let's see the one after that, just to make sure. All right. What it said about the, the last sentence. It says, Chief McCabu. Uh, Can't see that last word. Mike McCanopy. OK, you see their legs right there? That's the picture from the one before. So these two pictures is out of order. OK, so we'll go, this right here. started off with the same things, telling you the same thing. John was captured. With Osceola in October 1837 and sent to Fort Marion in St. Augustine. He and several other Seminole leaders, both black and native. Now you notice they are incorporating two groups of people, mm -hmm. but they already told us that the uh, so-called Seminoles was an admixture of tribes from across the land. Mm -hmm. All right. It said they starved themselves for several days um pried the bars off the windows of their common cell and slipped away from the fort hmm. with osceola sidelined by captivity and later dead a younger generation of leaders had to step up this is our culture right here mm -hmm. only after he was assured that his people would not be enslaved did john horse agree to talk with the army he and his band resettled in Oklahoma and later returned to Florida in 1840 in an attempt to talk Wildcat or Kuakochi, a native Seminole leader, into surrendering. That don't make sense. Yeah, we didn't surrender. All right, but we're going to keep going. Kuakochi agreed to do so in 1840, and he and John Horace a company called Cochise people to Oklahoma. So they came from Oklahoma to get the people in Florida and take them back to Oklahoma. Mm -hmm. For this service, John was given his freedom by white authorities and personally by Chief uh, McCanopy. All right, so that's, how he's, that's what he did. That's who he sold out to get free from slavery. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go back to the other page. Okay, deserted and took up dwelling in the swamps of Florida where they would be inaccessible to slave catchers or Spanish authorities seeking to round up deserters. This is this page is still out of order, but it, we already read both sides of this page. Mm -hmm. The Spanish name for these runaways was Maroons. The Spanish name for these runaways was Maroons. Mm -hmm. Now watch this. More room. More seminal. room. Oh shit. Go ahead. First applied to the natives who had fled to Florida. May come from the Spanish word cimarron, meaning wild or runaway, but scholars differ on this application. At first, the identities in their own villages and means of tribal governance. As more settlers moved into Florida, 
from the Southern colonies, later states. Now, wait a minute. I keep telling y'all, we was the ones going to Florida. This is the stronghold of the war. The settlers were not, this, when they say settlers, they talking about conquistadors. They talking about Englishmen, Frenchmen, Dutchmen, and Spanish conquistadors who call themselves more or more. That's what they talking about. Right. They were right. infiltrating us, pretending to be captives. We realized it, and this is why we broke up the, the tribes. Watch this. Black and natives saw the need to join forces. While they maintained their own villages and camps, Blacks and natives traded, coordinated on strategy for dealing with the whites and intermarried. Many Blacks had mixed Native ancestry and soon became regarded as Black Indians or Black Seminoles, half-breeds, mixed blood. Yes, semi. Hey, man, you like you like the Mike Tyson of the, uh, of the <laughs> country's community, man. You knocking niggas out, man. I'll tell you. You knocking niggas out, TK and all the niggas, man. I'll tell you, man. Okay, you so let's... Go ahead. Where, where, what we got left after this? Let's look at okay. the picture, see if we can see the okay. picture. Okay. Let's say feet, I think then we, uh, we... We went over that one already. Yeah, okay, I think it's this, this one right here. I don't think you read this one, though. Oh, I ain't read that one because I don't got no pictures on it. Okay, all right. Maybe we'll you say, but more white settlers was pouring into the Plains states. Where is the Plains? Uh... The Plains is mostly like in uh, the, 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 the South. No, the plain states is Montana, Oklahoma. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the Midwest, the Midwest, like, like the, like. Right. The, it's no, nope. the Midwest is in is is uh is uh Illinois, Wisconsin, Minnesota, Michigan, Indiana, and Ohio is the Midwest territory. Okay. okay. All right, but they saying that the white settlers is pouring into the plain states. Now, remember when I told you. They when we was coming to fight the wars, they was back dooring us yeah, right on the heels of the yeah. Louisiana Purchase to right. fight all the Indians. That's what they're talking about right here. Many of these people were from the South and wanted to bring Oklahoma into the Union as a slave state. That don't make sense. Yeah, them all, they playing games. Go Look ahead. at what it say. They was filling in Oklahoma. And they wanted to turn it into a slave state. They also wanted to dispossess the natives of land they had been promised in return for agreeing to move west. Now, this is this is contemporary with what's going on in the negotiations. Look at the year, mm -hmm. uh, 1847. So yep. we're right around the time of the Louisiana Purchase. And about the same time as that war with the Mexicans, the U.S. war with the Mexicans going on. The Mexico-American war is yeah. a little after this. Okay, yeah. Okay, now, this is the westward advance because remember, they said that our property was abandoned, so they was putting settlers in our property. Dang, this is crazy. Go ahead. All right. Crazy. So it's telling you here they wanted to dispossess the natives of the land, but it why is they taking pale people out there then, or so-called white people, is to displace natives from the land? Yeah. But what did they list them as? They rewrote them in by president. The president made chiefs. How the fuck did that happen? Yeah, right. That's not our culture. No elected official can't knight you a chief in our community. Yeah, that's right. You have to earn that position by motherfucking um, leveling up. Hey man, let me ask okay. you something right here. Uh man, so this this is damn, this is real crafty on how they how they you know usurp this. This, this. this is real, they had to have help, man. They wanted that intelligence to make this long drawn out plan to steal our shit. Hey, what what them said they was somebody was behind the motherfuckers yeah, intelligence. Long fucking draw our plan. We're gonna we're gonna start a war with them in uh, Florida. Then we're gonna sneak in on them with the Louisiana Purchase. We're gonna have Lewis and Clark. Butt crack them back door, survey the land because we know that gold right there. See, that's so they, 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 uh, deposit. They gold deposit, they got gold deposits all over this place. 
Yeah, yeah. we ain't even got to the gold rush yet. Yeah. Go ahead, go ahead. I don't want to hold you up. I just made a whole you bunch good, of shit. You good? You because you saying you all you all the way on track to the elaborate nature of the plan. It's a military. Yeah, it's fucking deep. Man. Okay, so we can't understand protracted struggle because we familiar with what we call short bursts of military action, lasting anywhere from two to five years at most. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But when you're talking about a struggle over several hundred years, this is just a, a opportunities being seized by a person that's an invader in order to displace the ones that he's invading. Mm -hmm. It's all opportunistic. When you're looking at the time and the layout of what's going really going on versus what they're telling you, the only part that's making it functional is they got us to believe their side of the story is more true than our ancestors' side of the story. That's right. That's where we fucking ourselves at. That's right. So basically, when I be pointing shit out in these readings, it's because I can see the other side of what they really saying in a double speak because they putting it out here, but you ain't paying attention to the reading with a forensic analysis, like you working for the motherfucking government trying yeah, to- Yeah, exactly. The like they examine your letter when you send that bitch out of prison. They, they, gonna, yep. they gonna examine that bitch, even if you put it in another language, a cold language. They got niggas mm -hmm. in there for that shit too. Now, watch this. Okay, so now we know uh, that they wanted to uh, dispossess the natives of the land they had been promised in return for agreeing to move west uneasy at these developments, Kuakochi and John Horse gathered their people in 1847, fled across Texas and into Mexico. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay, let's go to Google. We gotta see if I can prove this. Cause if I can prove this, they got some motherfuckers in Mexico that look like us. Put in Afro-Mexican. Let me save them uh, down in there. Yeah, hey, look, I'm, this right here coming up in my tapes too, the, the tapes that I'm putting out. Uh, the, the, uh, these people you're talking to talk about. So let me go and say these pictures. Then we're going to pull them up. Mm -hmm. I really want the one that say Afro-Mexican pride right there. Right here, uh, let me see, okay. It's, it's so, in the middle of the page. Right there, okay. Right, is that what you're right there? Mm-hmm. African Mexican pride is in the middle of the page. Okay, right here. See, that's what you're saying right here. All right, let me blow it up. We're gonna blow a couple of them up for them. YouTube, we got you, man. Tell you, man, this hey, this right here is it's another piece to the puzzle right here. The, the, the now, how in hey, how in the fuck do I know about an Afro Mexican? Right? We getting back dough, man. We got back dough, bro. Now, the only thing about studying these people history that they don't have an answer for, would you happen to know what it is? What? They've been there so long, they can trace their history back into antiquity to tie directly to those pyramids down there. Yeah. They hush these people up. They don't want you to know that these is uh, uh, organic Mexicans that's been there for thousands of years. Yeah, I'm going to tell you, man, this right here coming up in my tape, and the, if you look at her nose features, the Almax, the band, they, they the Bantu people. She really like Bantu mixed with like Hindu or something. Like, you got to remember, when you on this side of the water and you from the other side of the water, east or west, uh -huh. there is a mirror tribe over here. On that's every right. land, man. That's right. That's right. That's what, that's what I'm So you got a mirror tribe. One over here might be heavily melanated, but in Europe, they might be all pale. Yeah. But the culture is the same. Exactly yeah. the same rituals, practices. Um, and they can psychically communicate, but they don't know that they communicate with each other because the enemy has taught us that we insane for doing it. That's real. That's real. I know exactly what you're talking about. Let's look at some more of those uh, before we go to the 
back to it. That ain't no straight hair in Mexican. What, yeah. what the what the, what they doing? Somebody say y'all got to get these niggas. Man, <laughs> hey, you getting them, man? I'm tell you, these <laughs> these people right here, these are these are really are the original uh the original people. Like they really are the original all max. I mean, I'm not, mm-hmm. the all max, not the all max. They they all max too, but they really children. They 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 really the original Aztec people. Because the the uh, the, the new bonds they had came over here and they they really the band two people. Look, oh, these these, these is genetically different. That's a, a they, they got Asian in them. They got Asian. See, look like you can look at the the Asian come from the Sands people. <laughs> look, yeah, they got Asian in them. I'm telling you, man. You can see that. You can, oh, well, oh, I love you, so young girl, the boy. I had this much fun uh, uh, studying with nobody since I left my man's house. Yeah, so they got Asian in them, and but it's a black, it's a black Asian. Like uh, I'm gonna talk, talk, talk to you. I listen, think, what, listen, really listen to this people. right quick. Listen yeah. to this. Listen to this right quick. Yeah, they tested the genetics of these people. Uh-huh. I'm gonna we going I'm gonna bring this video back that I'm talking about as a, a receipt later. Uh-huh. I'm not gonna. We're not gonna go to it right now. They got hand. I'm just gonna tell you this. They yeah. listen. They did blood tests on these people and compared them with numerous African tribes. Uh-huh. And they are not from Africa. They <laughs> classified this group of people as Negrito and called them Indo-Polynesians. Uh-huh. I can go with that. I can go with they not from uh, Africa. because I okay. Hold on, hold on. Because this right Indo-Polynesian yeah. It's not the same as saying Neo Polynesian. Okay. When you say Indo in front of a word, they say ancient. That means ancient. Okay. When you say Neo, that means more modern times. It's closer to now. So these people are Indo Polynesians, which means they got an ancient ancestry, and the only people that have similar ancestry is the ones over here, the ones in Hawaii, Tonga, Samoan Islands going down into Australia, and it's a different blood from Africans or uh, Europeans. Yeah, because they they several mixes. They're a combination of several different people. Like but the, if they was a combination of seven different, several different people, Elder, they would then have the tracers of several different groups. They got a unique and distinctive um, heredity all to themselves. Yeah. I'm, I'm now, you, when you start I'm... moving to the islands of Cuba and uh, uh, the east coast of Brazil, you start finding traces of African blood in the people because Mansa Musa and before Mansa Musa, <clears throat> we was trading and intermarrying on that side of the water with the people from Africa. The ones in the central portion of the country, most of us over here that they call them African Americans and Negroes, we was up in the other part, the Louisiana Delta, the, the Mississippi Delta region, because that was our um, <coughs> marshland. <laughs> Man, now, I can show you these same people. I can show you these same people. The, the mirror tribe you talking about. I can show you these same people in the Vietnamese. <coughs> the Vietnamese, because because Baba said that these people they we sent them back when they came over here. These Hindus, these uh these dragon people, and they we sent them back over. These these same people they look like the Japanese, all of them because they're the same people that they came over here and mixed in. And I'm not, ja- not the Japanese. Genetics. Look. You 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 going through strictly phenotype. You going by the physical appearance. You're not going by the genotype. You looking at the physical appearance. Would you tell me they extra to regular? Is what you saying? No, they was already here. This is where they organic okay. to this part of the land. We didn't yeah. just spring up in Africa and, and migrate around yeah, I'm the with whole that. world. I'm with it. I'm with that. We boy. sprung up all over the world spontaneously. We sprung up out this bitch like a tree. Yeah. But these right. people are aging in them. <clears throat> now, the blood on the 
West Coast of the United States is ad mixed with Asians prior to the settlers coming from trading with them for thousands of years and intermarrying. Mm -hmm. We talking about from Eskimos all the way down. So these was these was uh, treaty arrangements when we marry in royal families to royal families to diversify the blood. We've been doing it for thousands of years. Uh -huh. But the prime root stock of who these people are is a, its own distinctive stock. Yeah, I'm with you on that because what you're saying, because of, because of the texture, but the, the texture of the hair versus the uh, so like these people look just like the Vietnamese and Japanese, but their texture of the hair is different. It's more of a woolly, eat the type hair versus the uh, Japanese. I guess the Japanese that they showing you, but if you go look at the ja other people that look like the original people of that land, they got sun back. They look just like these people, and they got that same hair texture. Well, the ones from the ones in Japan are. So hey, look, new, oh shit! Okay, all right, bro. Hmm? I, I, let me say this: so uh, these people could be originally from over here, and then they just got they sailed over there. Uh, that's what I'm saying. They sailed to uh, Indonesia. They sailed to because Obama. If you look at the dude that uh, the Sorrento them, Sorrento them look just like these people in Indonesia. And you you say saying Polynesian and Indonesian. These are the same people. Like go like. Let me, let me right. Play. That's not look. Listen. Listen. The blood type for those groups of people, um, it's the same. We gonna go in, I'm gonna break that down in another video. Okay. This one I wanted to focus more on the seminar. We gonna come back to this. Okay. Um, Cause I'm gonna, I gotta explain it to you where you can understand it, but we are taking away from what we were yeah, right, right. This the one you want, this the one you wanted right here though. Yeah. Now look around the back. Okay. Now these people, they uh, also had what we call jigaboo art in Mexico, just like they did here, right? Mm -hmm. Pull up Afro-American postage stamp on Google. Okay, I got you. I'm um, not Afro-American, Afro-Mexican. Uh, which one you want? The the one right there that you was at, the green one, right here. Yeah. Oh shit! Oh, get these niggas, bro. Hold up, man. Hold on, let me blow this up, man. Oh, they 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 shoot shots at us. They shoot shots at us, man. I'm no, I'm shooting back right now. Okay, okay, all right, let's, let's get these niggas. <laughs> hey, get these niggas. Hey, your little brother, get these niggas, bro. Get these niggas, man. That's some niggas right there, man. That's some niggas right there. Get them niggas. That's some niggas that jumped me right there, man. Go tell your big brother, get them niggas, Rod, man. <laughs> man, look at that, bro. That's crazy. Got an ancient mama market, man. Yes. Crazy. Wait a minute, I gotta make sure it's a Mexican stamp. Scroll down. Let's see if we got Spanish on. I can't see that. The yeah, it won't let you uh like it's probably clipped off, but it's okay. Stick. Make sure it's a Mexican one. Okay, it says right here, it says uh understanding mim mimic it. I can't see that it's too small. Yeah, it's a Mexican for one because it's a whole stamp right here. Let me pull this one up for you too. It's a Mexican one. All right, they got several different ones. They going hard. Oh shit, man. So you what? See, they weren't just calling us jigaboos in America. The conquistadors brought that shit. These were my these were my essays. These were them other Mexicans, them Italian niggas, them Italian Mexicans, uh, <laughs> Cortez. Yeah, with Cortez now. This, Cortez, my, them, them was motherfucking conquistadors. Yeah, the conquistador Mexicans. The main, the uh, um, Spanish niggas, man. Uh, mix, they, they're the ones that mixed in with the uh, people down there. The, the the product of them the uh the Mexican mafia that's them niggas they did this shit man not not my essays the ones that when you get dropped off when the police beat our ass in L A and dropped us off in the essays hood the essays took us to the hospital but them other them other Italian niggas they beat our ass the Italian Mexicans the ones that be wearing oh, you, suits yeah you talking about the so called uh paisas or whatever the fuck them mm -hmm. motherfuckers call themselves Look at it though, six fifty for a goddamn nigga stamp, man. It's crazy, bro. Mm -hmm. That's, that's... Well, you gotta remember, pesos and dollars is not the same. 
That's right. You know, that might be six sixty-five cents in, in, in America. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's right. Or less. It was like uh over there they had shit for fifteen thousand dollars. I was like, damn, how much is fifteen thousand dollars? Like I ain't never like really like 150. <laughs> I was like, damn, I went to Puerto Rico. That's when they uh I was like, man, that shit there costs fifteen thousand. How you gonna buy that? You ain't you gotta be borrowed. Oh no, they just really it's pesos. Like, Look, I, I'm trying to tell you, Tupac blood is from these people that's in Mexico that we're talking about. Oh, go ahead. The Secures. <clears throat> yeah. The Amaru. Oh, the Marus. Oh, yeah. I, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, look, man. Pull them up. Go ahead. You, you said that word because because uh, I remember one of my master teachers saying that these people were called the Amer- the Amaru people. And they, they, they were the raw, they was a raw family. I look, go to Google. We ain't got to speculate. We can go to Google and pull Amaru up. I got you right here. I got you. What you uh spell it for Amaru claim. Amaru. You might have to go to the main page of Google to get the descriptive. Khalifas. The Amaru clan. So while you're looking at that quick recap, so far we found that I know what the fuck I'm talking about when I say that we was a mixture of tribes that went to Florida and that we all left, the whole families left the uh, villages to go fight in the wars. When we did that, they backdoored us with the squatters right saying that the shipwreck had knocked everybody off the land. Uh huh. They used the Lewis and Clark expedition to survey the land to declare the land was vacant because all of the castles and homesteads of major proportion were empty. The reason they was empty is because we went across the nation all the way to Florida and Florida was really a bigger territory than it is now. Uh-huh. And this is what's the, the main battlefield that we were fighting. I got them right here, the Maori people. They like uh mm-hmm. Tupac do look like an Indian now that I that you say it, man. Like, yeah, you know, you got them long nose, his personality. All right, listen, uh, I have to blow some pictures up from these people for you. <laughs> The main picture that I seen that, that was right. There. Okay. Yeah, Tupac do look just like this dude right here. <laughs> that Mexican dude. Hold on, let me get let me get him. All right, so let's blow it up. These are the people right here. <clears throat> the Amari people. Can you see it? Mm-hmm. This is one picture. There's a couple more I got up in there too. So mm-hmm. Just shown. Okay, this right here is a picture of one the lady that they said that was on the name of the uh, Amari tribe. Now, when you get done, you're gonna pull his grandmama up. Okay, his father's mama. Now, this right here, they said these people were connected with the uh, with the Amari people. And I know these people are uh, the uh, look like the Lakota, but. They so goddamn black. Look how black you can't tell me uh that them that them Ho Shin wasn't niggas. Ho Shin was niggas too when they came over here. You ain't no way you a white Chinese and mix in with some, some black niggas and then become blacker. Blacker than they was. You know well, it's, one, it's one definitive. If you remember, Pops gave you a clue to know which natives was related to them and which ones was already here. Because the ones related to them have hollow hair. Yeah, that's right. And the ones that was already here have uh they had like you just showed. Right. Uh-huh. On the other, on the other people that uh Tupac people. See, uh, that's the this right here is the Hindu and the Chinese mixed in. But them but the all them motherfuckers were black. The Chinese was black and uh uh from for the most I don't like the word black, but you know what I mean. They were dark niggas, man. Everybody was dark, dark people. Mm-hmm. All right, this is another picture of uh, those people down there, too. These are here like a whole bunch of white, <laughs> uh, Caucasians, or whatever. Um, Albano. Them ain't even five dollar Indians. Them 35 cent Indians right there. They more they more than uh, them. They cost more than the other Indians. <laughs> them 35 cent Indians right here. They, they ain't even worth five dollars. They ain't even five dollars. 
Look how white she is, though, pale. Well, that's not even the definitive no more because a lot of pale people do have the blood now. That's right. That's right, too. That's now true. they came over here for one drop of blood. That's true. All right. Guess this one leaders. They said his name was Amari. Oh, that tribe. Tupac. There you go. There's another one. Look at the nose. That, that, that look like that dude, man. That famous dude. It's a couple, it look like a couple people. It look like uh Tom Cruise could have some of this in him. It looked like uh so look. Uh, uh go ahead, go ahead. Pull up Mexican Machiavelli. All right, Mexican Machiavelli. Oh shit. This is a dude, they was after him like they was after Tupac, but he was in Mexico and singing the Spanish. But he was the he was the, the Spanish speaking um equivalent of Tupac. Uh-huh. <clears throat> uh, let me see can I find a picture of him. Stick a type of Spanish Machiavelli or just Mexican Machiavelli? He's Mexican. Okay, I typed in Mexican. Uh Let's see. Uh, I think there might be. Okay, put in Mexican Tupac. All right, Mexican Tupac. Let's do it. All right, here, this him right here. Mm, see the one with Tupac standing by the dude with the hat on? Yeah, okay, all right, right here. Oh, yeah. shit. This That's him. It's about to get crazy. All right, I really gonna see what you're gonna okay, say. Okay, now this right here. Remember when up. I showed? Remember when I showed you the uh, Zapatista making the alliance with the Pat Panthers? Uh huh. Yeah. Oh this yeah. Was, Go ahead. Th this is the Chiefs. Um, that's making the uh the troops. That man, this shit is whole oh, wow, right, man. Hold up, you might be saying to me, they might have to set my shit down after that. What you what you finna get with right here, man? Cause this right here, like the shit, I was wondering why the why they why they was watching Tupac. Listen, I gotta tell you the story. You oh, see the guy right shit. there on Tupac yeah. left, right? Yeah. Okay, now they came, they've been trying to control his music, but by him being in Mexico, the American industry couldn't control it. They got a different structure, and he only used to do shows and he used to do his own recordings. Uh-huh. Right. Tupac heard about him through the people that was trying to kill Tupac. Damn. So Tupac took it up on himself. I got to go meet this guy because the motherfuckers that want me dead want him dead. We got to have something in common because he knew the niggas that was stalking him and he knew who had them niggas held at bay. So he went down there to talk to him and his allegiance is for the people, La Pueblo, La Zapatista, and this is the Panther and Zapatista. Right. Uh, so you said right thing. here. Yeah. <clears throat> now, they gave him a letter when he was performing his last performance and told him they was finna come kill him. So... Mm -hmm. You know, Tupac called in a, a, a favor for him to get him taken care of so he don't get murdered. But for the, the most part, really nobody so know where he at right now. He yeah. They look, it, it, it was a, it was a set saying that he disappeared. They got him into Cuba, and then they got him into Kenya. Uh, the, you talking the, about Pac? Black, yeah, through the Black Panthers. Uh, I ain't talking about Pac. Oh, you I'm talking about, about the dude with the hat on. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. My bad. They put a hit on him. The same motherfuckers that had the hit on Tupac they called the Jewish Defense League. Damn, this shit is heavy, man. So you think them boys both had the same idea and they were sharing the ideas about faking their death? That's what the Machiavelli thing is coming about? It's not about faking your death because you don't have any say in it. Okay. When it's determined that they come in to kill you, the, the Nation of Islam is coming to send you underground. Go ahead. This guy formed that truce with Tupac that will ever change the course of West Coast history. 
the all of the allegiance of the Latins and the, uh, what we call brothers from a lighter shade of brown to our alliances with Crips and Bloods all stem from this meeting right here. Damn. This is why El Chapo is one of the chiefs they tried to suppress. El Chapo's job was to get the imposters off the land, but he don't know who the fuck they is. So he's indiscriminately killing anybody who smell like the enemy. Yeah, go ahead. You own it, <clears throat> The federal government, the CIA, is the one who was had him trafficking in narcotics. Right, they the only ones responsible for the narcotics of the world. The CIA got the stronghold on the dope. Any, <clears throat> anybody that try to come up, DEA is taking their ass out. That's their job. And if you are strong enough to fight the DEA, they just gonna send a military contingent in there to get you. Yeah, they raise up what they call uh, shadow yeah. warriors. Yeah, Same spook thing. warriors. Same thing as uh, Taliban, the rest of them. Yeah. So now, <clears throat> when you see them at the border, when you when you see them at the border, right, and uh -huh. they trying to get back to their original uh -huh. nature, gonna call them. They can't not come. That's why they keep coming across the border, regardless of how many walls they build or how many motherfucking creeks and shit they put in their way, no obstacle is going to stop them from following the big mama telling them to do. Yeah. <clears throat> now, the question is, did the government have a program in place to stop them from coming back to the rest of the Mexican territory? Uh-huh. And uh, go to Google. All right. You gotta go to the main page before you type it in, cause we was just gonna be this. This gonna be hot. Go ahead. Uh, Rex eighty four space operation cable cutter. For a motherfucker that don't have no receipts, I be knowing where everything yet, don't I? Yeah, go ahead on this because uh, I know they, I know they, sh they, sh they uh, shadow man that that topic because I was, you know, what I'm saying I was on that too. They got a couple things where it says uh, Rex eighty four allows many military to be closed down and to be turned into prisons. Uh, Operation Cable Slicer and Garden Plot. All right, this might be it right here. What you looking for? The top. Yeah, so Operation Garden Plot was the George Bush plan to use the CIA to take the world over for the uh, cabal. That's the Garden Plot. Operation Cable Cutter was the program to stop the hordes of natural um, migration of Mexicans that may aid us in the liberation of the country from Mexico. They can't stop them from coming. Matter of fact, look at Rex 84 on uh, Wikipedia and then um, search cable cutter under Wikipedia. I wish I could see that better because I could have told you. Yeah, it's small. Mm -hmm. Wire strike protection wire. Okay, or not that. Wire cutter. Yeah, see, I knew they were going to... Uh, it's called <laughs> Operation Cable Cutter. Yeah, see, they, they, they shut up in that topic. I okay, know. first go to Rex 84. All right, Rex 84. <clears throat> it's going to pull up a Wikipedia page. Go to the Wikipedia page for Rex 84. Okay, now it's going to be a little box. Scroll down. Now look right there, see if you see cable cable splicer or cable cutter. No, I don't see it right there. It just says uh Cortel, FEMA, Houston Plans, Main Core. Oh, uh, let's see. No, nope, they took it out. This used to be three pages long. 
Yeah, they tell you they shared it because I, I I had did a tape on this, and then after that tape, it was I ain't trying to find shit else on it. You know what? I can go to my. I, I, I got the I got the uh the receipts of it on my um uh, the plan developed in response to civil disorder of the 1960s and fell under the control of the United Northern Command. Provided federal military and law enforcement assistance to local government during times of major civil disputes it's like when the niggas get like they jesse jackson worked for these niggas and uh al sharpen they work for these niggas these garden plot niggas you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. i'm about to send you a picture hold on one second uh uh what's that other nigga name uh that lawyer they got uh being crump he worked for these niggas. Man, right. that old boot licking ass nigga, I can't even believe they believe he boot licking being crunk. Anything to benefit anybody other than him. Setting up all them down theatric shits, man. The way the dog joints. Mm hmm. That dog's buggy shit. We ain't, right? we, ain't, we ain't gonna talk too much, but uh, yeah, but it says uh, this is a master military. I'm about to send you a couple pictures in the um. In your on your phone. Okay, all right. And then we're gonna use these to deal with the operation cable cutter shit. Okay. And Tupac, that Tupac Jew drop. That's a whole man. You just gave me a whole nother piece to the deal, man. Listen, Tupac man. was making connections with all of the chiefs on the land who didn't know who they was. He was uh giving them the tools to self-discover so they can be part of the struggle. Uh-huh. That's what he was doing in truth. Okay, hold on. I'm about to send this to you now. Can you put them in the same folder? All right. Hey, my man, uh, he got the same name as me, right? Uh -huh. Yeah, when I get done doing these shows, he'd be like, send me that young elder file from last night. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he'd be going over that shit. He'd be like, man, where you how do you know all this shit? All right, I'm gonna slide to that real quick. Hey y'all, hit that like, hit that subscribe button if you're in the building, man. We cracking heads and twisting caps. You know what I'm saying? Who else is doing all right so we start off let's i'm gonna give a recap while we're doing this part um so we start off going over the for those who just coming in the seminal wars gullah wars and i had been telling people that it was an admixture of tribes from all over the land and that they sacked us with the louisiana purchase and they use that protectorate agreement as a right to survey the land once they crossed the uh Appalachians and surveyed the land, they declared that the land was vacant and that the crash site was bigger than they originally thought. And they incorporated the protectorate under the salvage right so that they can institute the squatter's right on the vacant land. And the only way to come from under the squatter's right is to for the rightful owner to uh, object to the squatters on the land. And that's why I told Dane Calloway it's time to evict the squatters off the land, i.e. the United States corporate legal fiction. <clears throat> so now we're going over um, the connections that our people have been making across the land in order to restore uh, peace and harmony back on the land and stop our ki children from killing each other. Because somebody came out and turned us against each other and we didn't know anybody. Mm -hmm. So now we're talking about the government's program to keep us divided and conquered because they don't want the people from the um, southern hemisphere to start migrating back north, down north, not up north, down north, because south is up. Once they start migrating back down north, the enemy is going to be with his back against the wall and his dick is in the dirt.
Mm-hmm. So I'm showing the alliances at the same time we're talking about historical events, what's taking place on the land, and how can we prove it? So mm-hmm. here we come to the Rex 84 martial law memo from 1982, and it was originally written by uh, Oliver North at the orders of George Bush with, I think, uh, if I'm not mistaken, I believe uh, Joe Biden was a co-writer on there, but don't quote me on that. But um, I know Oliver North was one of the prime writers on it. But so it says that the um, Rex 84 martial law memo, martial law declared in the event of a national crisis plan did not define the term national crisis. FEMA takes control of federal and state governments. Military commanders replace duly elected officials. Now, this is where we at in the martial law because FEMA is taking power. Mm -hmm. It said, plan called for rounding up 21 million American Negroes delivery to military bases converted into prisons. So if we don't make these alliances that we're talking about, we can't stop this shit. Let's go to the next one, Elder. This is the origin of the Rex 84. The United States of America Clean Alpha Plan it was originally written about <clears throat> in the 60s, I think, in a novel. And it was called the King Alpha Plan <laughs> in the novel. <laughs> when the uh, <clears throat> Iran Contra was being implemented <laughs> by the Bushes, <clears throat> excuse me, y'all, I'm crunched. All right. They came out with <clears throat> Rex 84. The 84 ties to uh, the George Orwell Big Brother is Watching 1984. Rex means readiness exercise. 84 is the code number. It said there are 600 prison camps in the United States, all fully operational and ready to receive prisoners. They are all staffed and even surrounded by full-time guards, but they are all empty. These camps are to be operated by FEMA, Federal Emergency Management Agency, should martial law need to be implemented in the United States, the current foreseeable event, which will see the implementation of the use of these camps is the coming of the new world order led by the shadow government, right? That's the, mm-hmm. that's the Bush plot, the garden plot, right? Because mm-hmm. George Herbert Walker Bush was the leader of the shadow government mm-hmm. over here. All right, let's go to the next one. Salute to Reverend Ray Haggins, because he don't be playing. <clears throat> Readiness Exercise 1984 is a plan by the United States federal, federal government to test FEMA's ability to assume military authority. The objective is to detain large numbers of American citizens in case of civil unrest or national emergency or a false flag operation. Y'all can't forget false flag. Keyword. False flag don't mean false. It just means it was done in order to control a narrative. Mm-hmm. 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 All right. Now, let's pull up the next one because the next one is going to tell us what Operation Cable Splicer is. Operation Cable Splicer is a sub-program of the Rex 84 program which establishes on the reasoning that if a mass exodus of illegal aliens cross the Mexican-U.S. border, they will be quickly rounded up and detained in detention centers by FEMA. Rex 84 allowed many military bases to be closed down and to be turned into prisons. Now, you notice they're saying Mexican-U.S. border. Mm Mm-hmm. Right. Operation Cable Splicer is a program for an orderly takeover of the state and local governments by the federal government. FEMA is the executive arm of the coming police state and thus 
will head up all operations. Mm -hmm. The presidential executive orders already listed on the federal registry also are a part of the legal fame framework for this operation. Man, mm -hmm. it's crazy, bro. Am I making this shit up, Elder? No, nah, you know, I, I already been doing a little bit of research on <laughs> Tosha, they talk about the same thing. Do I know what I'm talking about or am I just guessing? Yeah, you, own, you own it. Now, but now I'm putting it together with this is part of if we decide to wake up and say, hey, man, you know, uh, this our land and we want to get you off. See, uh, we, we ain't like that, though. You know what I'm saying? But uh, that's what they that's what they scared of. They scared of a, it's a fear of if these niggas wake up and they can really just take over and it will, it'll be over with. It's just period to be over. It'll be the end if they decide to wake up and, you know, say who they are. Uh, okay, now, or, pay yeah. attention to the lay of the land, mm -hmm. right? I'm sure you point out some stuff. Look at where Mexico at in the parts that's been annexed mm -hmm. by the United States. We're talking Texas. We're we talking Nevada, Nevada, New Mexico, Arizona, California. It's one missing. But well, anyway. I'll, I'll put the picture for you. We got it in the last class. Mm -hmm. It's right here. I got all of it organized now. It's the last six. No, not six. It's uh. Man, how to get reorganized? Okay, this right here might be right here. Right here. This is a picture right here, so I can give you more of a. Uh... Mm -hmm. So this this is the uh, part of America that you see the arrows coming across mm -hmm. is the part that we annexed. That's all in them states that I was na naming. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Now, will you see where right where you at, just to the right, where the Mississippi River running up? Mm -hmm. Right here. Right, that was the natural borderline to Florida on the um, in the Louis in the Mississippi Basin. That was all the land of flowers, eastern and western regions, which was broke down into provinces mm -hmm. or subsections, however you want to name it in English. It's the best thing I can say in English is a province or a parish. They specifically went out to this land right here, like on like this land on this side. The right, because that's the Midwest. Yeah, the Midwest, this land right here. Right. And that's what made uh, my big mama conjure me to fuck up, because they fucked with that piece of land. This, this, the middle, right here, this Washington. Right. Mm -hmm. right. That's that's what my big mama um, was heir to. It my mama it. told me about it. Probably like about right there, yeah. Hey, so mm -hmm. they so why, uh, let, me, let me get it all together, okay? So we uh, we we stand in this area first. We get they they land over here, start attacking us, and our family over here. So we left over here to come over here and fight them off and help everybody Not, fight them off. Almost, but it's kind of like what you said. But you see the green part under Florida, them islands down there. Okay, right here. This is where we get the major distress call to start forming a front in Florida from them. Okay. Right. Now they being brought over as POWs. Okay. They're not from Africa. This is all documented in the history books. Yeah. So they're taking Islanders, bringing them over here. So we send a distress call clean across the land on the Wind Talker channel. It's all hands on deck. Go to Google. Yep. Oh, yeah. You got these niggas, man. Hold up. Let's go to Google. All right. Go back. All right. What you got? Type in indigenous 500 years of war. I uh, got it. You want me to pull over? Go to images. All right. 
we go, it's gonna be a question here about the 500 years of war. Okay, let me look at it. Okay. I see those uh Hun people too, you see, you be talking about. Okay. Uh let's see. Native buffalo hunt use every part of the buffalo. Yeah, we ate the heart first. Hey, Who Rob. Told you that? Huh? Who told you that? Well, at least I seen that's on I seen that these beans on uh I might have just seen that on one of those uh, movies. <laughs> you know, it was a long time ago when I was a kid. Yeah, we didn't eat the heart first. Well, we ate the liver. What we what we ate first? The, <clears throat> the brain. Look, the liver and the heart was a, was, was for special purposes. Uh -huh. For like only certain only certain people was allowed to eat the liver the liver and the heart. Yeah, but I'm not gonna get into that because that's that's a good sidetrack is because that's a, a rich part of the culture. The diet and the uh, taking away of the bison. Uh huh. Is very critical in our oppression, and that's a whole another, uh, whole another show. I don't see it, uh, Elder. Yeah, I don't see it either. So I got Indigenous five hundred year war. Um, let's try this. Try yeah. Native in place of Indigenous. All right. Five hundred years we fought, man. That's a long ass time to fight. I think from fourteen ninety two to nineteen ninety two is how long. This might be it right here. We find the conquistadors, the people who did don't care. I'd like to see that picture. Yeah, I'm gonna blow it up for you. I'm gonna blow it up for you, man. Hold up. All right, so you got oh shit, this right here fire. It's a fire picture right here. I'm gonna get some fire pictures when I be on with you, bro. I'm telling you. Joints. I'm gonna see if I can find one I'm looking for in my oh, file. Ah, uh, let's see. Oh yeah, these some five pictures right here. Oh, let me say that I'm, I'm, I'm gonna say that picture and blow it up for you. What are they fighting these uh conquistadors? They say people that don't care. Oh yeah, that's about to get greasy up in here. They're like we was uh making them, they was running us off the cliff and shit, off of throwing us off waterfalls and shit. Here we go right here. Let me blow it up. Damn. All right, hold up. Get out of the way. All right, let me blow that joint up, man. Hey, you're supposed to go over them stickers, too, though. You're supposed to go over them stickers, them uh, Mexican stickers. You already said you what you're going to say on it. Yeah, I ain't going to mess with them no more. That's... Okay, all right. You're talking about the stamps, right? Yeah, the stamps. All right, here we go right that's here. That's just to show you that the struggle is the same everywhere we at. It's a picture of them coming to fall. These Indians coming. They had boats already. Uh, natives or whatever. Man, they got us thinking we ain't had boats, dog. We was traveling this bitch everywhere. That's what I was telling people, man. Look, like I said, yeah, look, they they even got the red coat on. Like, uh, they probably took these niggas shit. That's how we was. You know? That's it, crazy. We do out of habit of Kill a motherfucker and put on his bloody ass clothes. <laughs> that's our type of shit, man. I'm telling you, that's that's how niggas do, man. I'm telling you. Like take that and, and they wear it like a trophy. It's like a trophy. Like yeah, I conquered this nigga, man. You know what I'm saying? I got his chain. That's like, that's why, like in the, in New York area and some of them areas, they when they kill somebody, they were snatching a snatch their chain. Just as like a trophy, and it's also just the same thing as. Chopping their head off and wearing it on a necklace, like uh, like that dude when he came to Xerxes on a three hundred, he had all those kings' head around his uh on his chain, and he said, "No, you bring the you bring the uh the kings of conquer the heads of conquer kings to my doorstep, and then you insult my queen." And nigga look back at then. What I like about Xerxes, he looked back at his wife before he kicked before he kicked him off. He looked back at his wife. She she just gave that nigga the head nod. I said, "Oh yeah, that's gangster." And then he she, she, he kicked him. Nigga, boom! As soon as his wife said, "Get them niggas," 
You know what I'm saying? My wife, if my wife say get you, nigga, it's a wrap, nigga. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, if I look at her face and she say, get that nigga right there, oh man, it's over with for you, bro. Why why are you reenacting the Chris, the Chris Rock slap? Oh, the Chris Act Black? Oh, yeah, pretty much. Is what you, you don't even realize you're <laughs> reenacting it, do you? Will Smith, man. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. I'm you reenacting that shit. That <clears throat> That's how it is. But, I feel Will on there. Anyway, so um, somebody mentioned that they're going through the uh, jurisdictional struggle in Jamaica with the Queen in real time. Y'all already won that shit. Uh-huh. Just like Barbados, that bitch is done with it. Mm-hmm. Okay, so um, mm-hmm. hey, you want me to show like like this picture? You want me to this ain't a good picture? You want me to show that one I was talking about? That you was talking about like this right here was uh like a picture of one when they making the uh the conquistadors, the natives fighting them at the uh look they got a dam or something right here. Hold on, let me get the one I was trying to find. Or I think it was uh. Is the one that said, yeah, let me save it. This one right here. Can you see that picture? Mm-hmm. Oh, let me blow it up again, man, because that joint. Okay. Where did it go? Oh, yeah, baby. Hit that like, hit that subscribe button. I don't think it's letting me save it, man. It's still jumping out. Oh, yeah. Maybe I can pull it up in this one, though. Hold up. It's a different type of image. Yeah, here you go, right here. All right, let's blow this up. All right, so this right here, the picture right here, uh, Brother Rod. Like these these natives, they got leopard on. And oh shit. yeah, I wanted to see that. That's <laughs> and they fight. They fighting against these. These are the uh, like the Spaniards, right? The conquistadors. But they. I know them. when I see that gear, if that's who they okay. are. The, the type of helmet they got on and shit. Mm. Yeah, see. yeah, that, that, that's Spanish. Spanish. Cortez now. Uh, uh, they came. Yeah, you, the nice you don't notice them. the 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 um. The jaguar with the bow shooting, but bow and arrow at the end. Right here, yeah, right here. That's what I was looking at. What, what the hell is that? A leopard or a jaguar? It's a jaguar. Okay. <clears throat> Leopards from Africa. You're right. Hey, that's yeah, go ahead. That's, that's, that's another. That's another uh, key point right there, brother Rod. That certain animals are indigenous over here, and they're not indigenous in Africa. That, that's, that's a point that I be making too. Yeah. So like buffalo, buffalo <laughs> indigenous over here. Is eagles indigenous over here too? Not over in America. I mean, Africa. Is it eagles in Africa? It's eagles all over the world. Okay, different right. types of eagles, though. Okay, you yeah, got different right. types of bird of prey too. You got eagles, falcons, and hawks is the main three. Then you got your nocturnal, like okay. the owls, and um, they got different strains of them too. I, I, I didn't mean to tell you too, man. You went you went off on that uh that tape on the Black Magic Channel, that City of the Guards tape. Hey, y'all need to go check that tape out, man, on Black Magic Channel that uh Rod Hayes did the other night, man. I, I listened to that tape today. I said, man, Rod really went over a lot of niggas' head in that tape. They really just just listening to him, just eating their popcorn, like they just talking, man. You you go listen to that tape there, you got a lot of you dropped a lot of Jews in that tape. That uh, taped there on the Black Magic Channel. Yeah, it was like uh, one of the sisters called me out and asked why I didn't translate the name of the pyramid to uh, uh, Huh. Uh-huh. You know, because it means uh, sacred to Uh huh. I think you said it on the tape, though. Some you was talking about Tahuti. Yeah, I didn't go into the name. I went into the place, what the place was. But the name actually says the sacred place of Tahuti. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, I need to go check that tape out, man. It's a lot of Jews in that tape. And I, and I can just tell how the, the chats was that people, a lot of that stuff was going on people's head. It was just like it being entertained, but I was listening for the next, my next clue to put this shit together. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Listening for my next clue. But go ahead, go ahead. I ain't mean to hold you up, though. Go ahead, go ahead. No, you good, you good. We, 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 we building. We building. 
So when, when they fight, when we fight in these Seminole Wars, right, mm -hmm. we didn't have a problem with getting eaten by alligators back then. Uh-huh, uh-huh. We had lived so close with them that we would be able to use them as stepping stools to run across the water. Mm-hmm. Right? Fire, so really. you remember the story they tell us about the enemy feeding our babies to the crocodiles? Uh-huh. That was called crocodile baiting to condition them to eat human flesh because they wouldn't eat us. Yeah. And right. they, but they would attack the enemy. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. That's right. If you ride through Florida, you see all those charred sticks or, or tree stumps sticking out of the uh ocean. Yeah, that's here. right. I, yeah, I see that a lot. Go ahead. That's the marshlands. Those trees used to be so fucking thick down there. They burned them all down because they couldn't get in there to get at us. And we was tearing their ass up from the treetops and from the goddamn roots. Yeah, no. We was we was kicking their ass. And that's what makes real warfare. Yeah. Look, you know, you know something? Hey, to add to what you're saying, the bill on what you're saying, if you go watch the movie The Patriots, right? And that. The fighting style that they use to, be, to, to get them British off of them, they learned that from us, from the from the Seminole Wars. Remember how they was hiding, hiding the bushes, hiding the trees. They'd be hiding in the tunnels, like you said. You know, what I'm you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. and, and then they 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 ambush. We we ambushed the shit. They didn't know nothing about that. They didn't know nothing about being the ambushing niggas. We started that shit. Yep. We was fucking their ass. Up. Yeah, because we had a small, we, we were using small numbers to fight these the larger numbers, all these more what they were calling organized, but we really were more, more organized than them. We were more, and we knew the terrain of the land. We, we knew the layout of the land. You know what I'm saying? Because it's our shit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So they know they know uh, when they can't end up jacking with us, 10, 10 natives can take out a whole army. They think like 15 niggas shooting at them. You know, and you know, because uh if you go back and watch that movie, Rosewood, right? And uh the, the nigga, uh, I forget the dude's name, they played that big dude, right? That was playing the guy that it was after. He mm -hmm. went, he had 245s fully loaded, right? Hey, the white boys chased him off into the woods, right? Then he he ran certain a certain amount of yards in there, and then he turned around and just pulled his guns out. And then when they came in there, he just unloaded both clip, both guns on them. They ran off out the woods. They went back and told the, uh, the the county sheriff, hey, man, 15 niggas just jumped us in the woods. And it really was just one dude with 245s. So we could, so we did shit like that. Like, we knew how to take on a big ass, uh, on, like a big ass look. Because that dude, there, he definitely had to be connected with the niggas we was just talking about, the Geechee niggas. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. How big he is, how he looked. You know what I'm saying? Mm hmm and then what, what, what high nigga back then going to town to town riding a horse and he got 245s they didn't even have that type of guns in the 60s you know it's 1960s they had revolvers and, and uh shotguns that's the most a nigga had so how that nigga get 45s way back then you know what i'm saying to let mm -hmm. somebody have it you know what i'm saying and he got the bullets for that joint you gotta have some money you get to have some money man It'll be a high dollar soldier to have that them type of nickel plated 45s back doing that's like with the 1800 window of Rosewood, like the early, it's like it was before 60s, before the 60s. Then it started getting oozes and shit until the, the uh the Frank the Rick Ross uh at favorite phase when it's when the, the, the alphabet boys started pumping well, really in the 80s. It's really the 80s, the 80s is when we really started getting heavy firepower. Yeah, right. So how that nigga get 245s back in that time, man? I'm He's sending like, you some more uh, additions. Send them, to me. Send them to me. Okay, that ain't what I was looking for, but since they came up, I figured I'd send them and make a part okay. of the discussion. Okay. Let's get back on the track. Okay, okay so good. now we know they burned the trees down, chopped trees down throughout Florida. You can still see Riding through Florida, you could still see the burnt charred remains of many of the trees that still have stumps. Uh-huh. Right? You could see the old bridges that deteriorated that was being used before the new bridges we own now. They show all of that stuff is still there. Uh-huh. Right? Uh -huh. So once we got done whooping their ass, 
we disperse because of the Kanja War. The Kanja War was the 200 years, see if you can remember which side of the water you from, motherfucker. Right. Remember? Yep. If you can remember your ancestry, who came in with fezzes, who came in with feathers? Yeah, with feathers up. And can you distinguish the difference in the two? The problem was is somebody couldn't remember who the fuck they was, and they were supposed to conquer us, but they couldn't remember who the fuck they was, so they put the feathers on and thought they was us. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, the Boston Tea Party. They dressed like they dressed with the feathers. The niggas with the feds dressed up with feathers to stop uh, Benjamin Banneker. At least that's what they said. And we don't remember all that, though. Yeah. But Benjamin Banneker is the one who was the translator for Lewis and Clark. Big B and Bay. That's him. Mm hmm Right? Um, he also known as um, Son of York. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so as long as we know what we know. Yeah, we got him, we got him. We get, we and we know him. the first motherfucker he's, he's that a, killed was- He's a sellout, was, he's a sellout. The Bible says well, he's a sellout. The first one that they uh, killed for the blood to write the new constitution in was Crispus Atticus. Mm -hmm. Why they gotta keep telling you the nigga died first? Right. And they gotta keep telling you that the nigga yeah. died first. Yeah. No, he didn't die. They murdered him and wrote the constitution in his blood because there's a universal law that say that the blood of the righteous shall not be spilled in vain, which binds us to that contract because it's our chief's blood. Man, bro. So yeah. we gonna follow all the rules and they gonna break them because they don't give a fuck about our chief. Exactly. Hold on, I'm gonna slide down pictures right now. Mm hmm So we didn't show them where the different tribes amalgamated in Florida became called Seminoles by the enemy. But the directors of the Seminole Wars was Gullah Chiefs. Mm -hmm. And the Gullah Chiefs sent the distress call out and went as far away as Tongan Islands, the Samoan Islands, Hawaii. Alaska all sent soldiers to fight in the Seminole Wars. And this is why uh, in Pueblo, Colorado, the Pueblo villages was empty. Mm -hmm. They was all fighting in the war. That's why they kept saying it was an admixture of tribes because we was all mixed together. Mm -hmm. We don't always be in each other business, but when it's something that threatens all of us, our nature is the instructions from Big Mama. Mm -hmm. I don't give a fuck how y'all get along. Don't let no outsiders come in here and kick your ass. Yeah. Straight up. I'm with you. Y'all better. Y'all can fight when it's over with amongst each other. But right now, y'all got to get rid of these motherfuckers that don't belong. Mm -hmm. I'm with it. I'm with that, Big Mama. Did that say 83% of all true Americans with African ancestry have Native American blood? How in the fuck is that possible? Right. That's got to be a paper genocide. And then we got to look at how long has Africa been called Africa? Exactly. Right? Because it wasn't always called Africa. So where was they coming from? Exactly. If they were coming from Africa before it was called Africa. I be asking too many of them little simple ass questions. Same like that. damn land. That's where they coming from. Same people. Same everybody. Mm -hmm. Next picture. All right. Hey, partner and black say everything in the U.S. The land didn't break up. They broke up your brain in the fractal. That's <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's a hell of a way to look at it. Damn sure is. Yep, chiefs are designated by most love, most respected, and no matter what gender they is. All of the islands was already fighting when we got the message to form the barrier with, and 
It also told us about the infiltrators too. But all of the items was already um, engaged in the conflict from 1492 to 1700. The islands in South America was already fighting the conquistadors. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We didn't know in the, in this part of the land, we didn't know what's going on until we got the message from the other parts of the land. Makari Maurice Kinsey said they stole us from here. Goddamn right, but we ain't never left, so we always been here. That's right. That's why I say we've been here so long, we had to come here before here because we had to make here be a place. Yeah, that's right. And Baba said it in the uh, Let's Hit the Record Straight book. Look, look at what that say. The almost total extinction of the Negroes during the time of the Who Conquest? The uh, ne okay, conquest, Spanish uh, Conquest. And the memories of them. Hold on. And the most ancient tradition in, induced used to believe that they Negro, that the Negroes were the first inhabitants of Mexico. Physically, archaeologist Nicholas Leon, historian general of the Mexico, 1919. Right. So, um, <clears throat> Pine Black brought up the Iroquois Confederacy in the Constitution. So this is how they even got a copy of the Constitution to activate the blood of Crispus Atticus. It's from the original Constitution, which was derived from the Iroquois Constitution, which was originally an oral document that the chiefs taught to their sons and daughters so that they can be lawgivers in the land. Mm -hmm. You knew the rank and the level by how much of the Constitution they could recite orally without having to reference written work, right? So it's just like making the Constitution into a rap song. Exactly. And you remember every part of the song, you can perform that motherfucker now. That's right. That but you can't perform right. none of the song until you can remember the whole song. To make a sound of sense. Mm -hmm. Right. Look at the next picture. And look close now. Who are those so called natives who you see on the TV? Now look at them people in there. Them, this is actually uh, the hieroglyphics out of uh, somewhere in Mexico. Yeah. They look Aztec. Mary is just going over that. Yeah, yeah. These is them. These is them. Um, how the Amaru people depicted themselves, and they had multiple clans under the title. Uh huh. Uh huh. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Black uh, dark skin people, because um, oh yeah, he did put it in that man. Okay, so let's uh, read a little bit of this picture as opposed to a little bit of the words. Do you see the four people standing at the top? At the, right. And you see it's people on each side of them. Yeah. Okay, now, the ones in the middle are the elder lawgivers. See the white robes? Yeah. You see the ones on the left and the right don't have white robes. That's right. Because they come into the elders to get the law or to be examined for the law. Uh -huh. Now, if you look on the left side, you'll see the guy holding up what looked like a, a writing pad. And then behind him, you got people that look like they playing drums. Yeah. He holds so up he a might, he he might hold up bowl to my right here, where you, right here on this side where he holds up yeah. a he holding up a bowl, and this right here like some kind of uh maybe like a bat or some kind of mm -hmm. something. And then yeah, they got some kind of it could be a fan, like the fans they fan the nigga with, the or a tambourine or something yeah. like that. Because I used to see my grandma with these in church. Okay, now these is offerings. They making an offering 
to the elders above them. Now you notice that the elder above them have on elaborate gear. Yeah, gold and shit. Yeah, but he's not a lawgiver. That means, he, so he would be what you call a dignitary that uh, is right on the side of the lawgivers. So he could be like the law enforcer. Okay. The other ones can be the court. If you yeah. look to the right, they're mostly females up there. Yeah. So that could be the court. And down here too, it's females. Mostly. When you get down there, that's all ceremonial. Uh-huh. They're going through a ceremony. You see the trumpets on the left, right? And they got different headgears on going around in the pictures. It's a ceremony or a ritual going on. Yeah. I believe right. it's like some kind of inauguration or something, like of the of, of, of the pharaoh or the chief or making somebody like a pharaoh, like, you know, he make it, they come in to make a decision on this dude being the pharaoh or, and they're doing like an anointing because in ancient Kimmy, we used to do the same thing. Like uh, when the fair, it's like a, uh, like a, what they call it, the said festival and all it. So I believe that, that that same culture is, is it's got some similarities, man. You know? With the trumpets, I've seen that same thing. Uh, but these people definitely niggas. Uh, uh, you know, for lack of a, they definitely dog skin beans for sure. Mm hmm. Ain't no doubt about it. All right, let's move on. Tupac's people, man. The whole time. Crazy horse. OD beat you, crazy horse. He didn't look like that. Hell no. Nah. Look crazy. what it's like. Look what it's like. Belongs to uh, the Mongolians. What did one in the Bible say? True native of West Africa, now called American African, uh, meaning the earth, divine name of Mason. Yeah, you know they, they, uh, every the movies they do they do that man they 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 really messing with the kids. I'm just tripping on on Crazy Horse. That nigga looked just like ODB. He looked at more Shinnecock than he did Chippewa Cherokee. Yeah, Shinnecock, the Massachusetts. Oh, daughter D. Uh, the same. That's that's really. I think that's really the tribe that the. the, the, the uh, I, I believe. I know. I know you and Mike Tyson from the same tribe. I know that for a fact. Y'all get too much resemblance. And uh, he from that up to up north too, that same area, like the Massachusetts, like the old dirty bastard tribe. They said that he came from that tribe, old dirty bastard. Oh, do do um, P Funk, what's that dude named P Funk? Uh, George Clint, he mm -hmm. definitely from, he from that same tribe, the Massachusetts. Oh, do be uh, Shinnecock, yes, yeah, Shinnecock is the same as uh, Massachusetts. See, like the the uh, the uh. The mass, the mass, at first, I don't know if they was called Massachusetts at first or, or Senecock first, but I know that's the same tribe. It's just about, that's the same Somebody place. said I'm reaching. Who re Lord reaching loves it? me. Who are we reaching it? I don't Who know. Said, I don't know. This is easy. We ain't got to reach for it. We already, you know what I'm saying? Ain't no reaching. Yeah, but the Shinnecock. Like if you go do your research, I already did a tape on it called the four uh, the, uh, Native Americans to color tape. Well, uh, these uh, beans they got pushed off their land, just like you saying right now. They got pushed off the land in uh, up in the uh, Maine, New York area, all that area, Jersey, D Delaware. Most of them are still in the same place they've been for hundreds of years. Yeah, and, and some of them still there. Some of the Shinnecocks of these Massachusetts still there, like the old dirty bastard and the rest of them. But, but I'm saying. Uh, some of them left there. Some of them got tired of the shit and left and migrated west to uh, like Detroit, Chicago. Some of them even hey, migrated look, to, uh, to Seattle. Go ahead. Somebody say ODB not native. And then my man right under that says Shinnecock and Long Island. That's what ODB is a Shinnecock. Yeah, that's what. Yeah, he is Shinnecock of Massachusetts. The same people. But now why would somebody want to disregard his native status? That's the question. 
That's the same motherfucker said I'm reaching, by the way. And we already proved, we already proved too, through, uh, what's the name, Shinnecock too. He, he a Massachusetts, uh, Irvin, or Kyrie Irvin. Hey, look, Will Blast said, oh, DB, full bloody. Stop the lie. <laughs> Don't be up that bullshit. Yeah, that's right. Look, uh, DMX said it best. They don't know who we be, but guess who know who we be? They don't uh, know who we be. <laughs> yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah. So, yeah. So the Massachusetts Cinecocks, same people. And those Cinecocks also got Y2C in them because some of them got the bug eye features. The book, like, I, I, I'm gonna go over it. Like, look, in uh, the tapes that I'm coming out the next this west of this week, well, probably next week, uh, it's gonna because of course Saturday we gotta go somewhere on Saturday, we got an event, but uh, but the tapes that I'm coming out for the next of the rest of the week, I'm gonna show that the features of these people and some of them got the bug eye features, but like, if you look at like uh, like a lot of y'all, like you really, I think you should have cop because the, the, the Mike Tyson's types, all of them, they they all uh, should have cops. In that land up north, like Detroit, and uh, like I said, there's some uh, far too. That's that's like uh, Big Meech with Shinnecock and the far. They they like mixed. They like was mixed in, and they come from a royal bloodline. I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you, bro. And I believe, like you said, those people was over here at the same time over there. The same. It was like, it, it, like this land was had to be the one land or. We was already just all the way around the world, just like Bible said in the uh in the uh set that's at the record scrape book. But those bug eye features, you see some new niggas with bug eye features, those bug eye features is one of the features of the Shinnecock tribe. The Joneses, the Jones, people Look. with the last name Jones, they from that Massachusetts and Shinnecock tribe. Tell hey, me. look, I can tell from the comments, it's a lot of us that know who the fuck we is. And um, they putting this shit on the flow. <clears throat> yeah, they know we. Hey, they, they went following the young girl. They got a goddamn bright idea. If they they've been listening to the tapes we've been putting out for the last couple months. They got a bright, good idea, a close idea where they can start their uh, research on it with the connection. Mm -hmm. to, with the shout out to brother Dane Callaway with the connection. Oh, yeah. making, with the connection yeah. you making. Uh, all of the, like the older, uh, the older master teachers like Taj Tariq Bay. We we taking out some stuff that he putting in there. Other is other beans. The uh, Luca so let's let's since, since since we bringing up some of the others, you know, um, and you mentioned Taj. There's some that they not understanding that Taj has been teaching for, and he's they still not getting. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. It's the understanding of civics. If you do not understand civics, you will never understand how to apply your God-given inalienable rights to the overthrow of a legal fiction that's still in your shit. You have to understand how civics is being used because it's legalese that's the binding contractual language. They got us all trapped into a caste system that if you can't see your way out of it, you can't break free, uh -huh. right? The caste system is based on the artificial perception of the people with lighter skin is in a superior social position than the people with the darker skin. This is because the statuses in law, legal white person or free legal white person, um, is a legal status and a black person is also a legal status, but they are also chest turns. Yeah, go ahead. You're going in. Go the on. attacker takes the pieces, the white pieces, to attack the black pieces. So they're using the legal terminology. If you go study the Moors, their form of conjure is the game of chess. Exactly. In in the Moorish culture, if you're not a chess master, you will never beat them at shit. That's their culture. So once I understood the game of chess, I started playing another game called fifth dimensional chess, mm -hmm. Kemetic chess, and Chinese chess. 
You understand that all of the rules to life is in the board games. Right. Go ahead. But the only I'm ones listening. who's going to get the rules from the board games is the one who have valuable family time to play the games exactly. on the board. Exactly. That's why I got Monopoly. Once you absorb the rules to the board games, later on in life, you will find yourself in the condition to be bored to play the game of life. I like how you because the idle mind that they call the devil's workshop is also the uh, workshop of God. This is where they play the game of masterminds from the position of mind. It's mind over the matter. That means the fifth dimensional chessboard is spiritually fought, not physically. Mm -hmm. For the gods, this is a game. But for the mortals, this is misery. Mm -hmm. right. So only if the righteous gods defeat the unrighteous gods will we have a switch flipped on the board to a new game. It's been checkmate. But now we have to have what was done above to be seen below. Mm -hmm. It has to reflect. It's rolled out according to a galactic clock, Charles Mosley Bates, Clock of Destiny. Once it's rolled out on that galactic clock, you have to understand your tribal ways, Hakeem Bay reference. Yeah. Once you understand your tribal ways, then you're going to tune in to the metaphysical application of the tribal ways in order for you to perceive reality. See Freeman Hill, metaphysics, understanding what a Mason is from a Moorish perspective. What? I, got, I think I got that book. Okay, now, um, from here, once you get the metaphysics, and you have to now understand how to run a government. You need the civics. Through the civics, you begin to remember something called the ancient code of kings. How are kings in the natural kingdom of earth selected versus how do they artificially select them? Right? Mm -hmm. So they put artificial kings that they call presidents and CEOs out in the public and the real kings remain Amu, the hidden ones. You let the ones who was the newest addition to the human family had an opportunity to rule as long as they don't spill too much blood in the process of learning how to treat other people because eventually you're going to want to treat people to treat you the way that you treated them. And so you need to learn how to treat them before they get in the position of power to rule over you. Mm hmm now we are in the position where the ones who we mishandled when we ruled over them has been instructed to deliberately mishandle us by Yaqub himself because he don't like the way we being handled. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. So now they come along and they get to handle us because Yaqub said so. Mm -hmm. Yaqub is Jacob, Jacob the supplanter. The supplanter is the one who undermines. The underminer is the child of the one we call Yahweh. Yahweh is Enlil. That's right. That's just simple as the connection. So the Jacobites or the Yaqubites or Yaqub's uh, artificial creation is the children of Enlil that they created and mistreated and then Mama say the good got to sometimes suffer with the bad, but don't worry because trouble don't last always. Right, that's right. Right? So when I start pointing out the chiefs on the land and my mama go see them for herself, because I sent her to Pops, I sent her to go see Malachi. Mm -hmm. Right? We discussed fair kind, we know what's going on. But they don't know that I know to the level that I know the shit that I know that I can put this shit together like this on a zigzag zig, knock to a knockback across the land off every man who stood his motherfucking ground and did not fold. That's we right. could really knock in all across the land from east to west, from north to south. And that's the news we getting out. 
And the guerrilla clan is the final clan to come and establish the land. And that's a sea walk on the crooked man walking across the land. Yeah. But he's followed by this big red bull, a Brahma bull, right? Angel Bay. And they are represented by the statesman, right? The one with the charisma and the one with the influence to draw the youth together, mm -hmm. right? And his name, we call him Larry Hoover. But Larry Hoover had ex accepted a higher position than being what we call a gang leader to become a regular guy and a spokesman for the tri tribes when they need him. Mm -hmm. That's all he wants. If y'all need me, I'll come speak to the children. If y'all don't need me, I will be with my family. That's what his life going to be like from here on out. And my job is to try to make sure that before they need him, that they can use me in his place. Right? And the same go with Malachi York. And the same go with H. Rap Brown or uh, Mumia Abu-Jamal or Asada Shakur. Hands off our motherfucking elders. Right. They elders now. They fought the struggle when it was time to fight. It's our time to bring this shit back home. Feathers and one this bitch. Pack your fans up. Put that motherfucker under your bed because you won't need it no more. Just take fire. So when I tell these motherfuckers that we came from all over the land, I didn't prove it. From with the shit that they told us. Right. Of what they right? see. Yeah. They told the story. I just showed you what it said. And then told you what it mean according to how we told the story. You see, because we can't stay conquered. That's against the law of nature. How you going to have the motherfuckers whose job it is to clean this shit up be subjugated? Right, right. Right? And we know under the divine right of kings that you can't rise to kingship as a bond servant. So you can't be a prisoner, right? Mm -hmm. But you can be an ex con with a GED. That's a guerrilla educational degree, if you ask me, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. right? Because you got to be a self-raised master to be the master of masters. And they say, that's the story of Hiram Abiff. And so Hiram is raised, mm -hmm. crooked man walking across the land, mm -hmm. right? All nations, the red and the white and the blue, the black and the gold, right? Mm -hmm. The silver and the gold, all other clans is on deck, right? Get so them. they flipped mm -hmm. us colors out in black, um, what we call liberation movements throughout the years. Here we see Empress Verdiasi, yeah. Tierra Gostanel Bay, who took these motherfuckers and said, why y'all not honoring the treaties? In 1993, the United Nations Center for Human Rights recognized the Washita de Dong Demonia Moore Empire. Now you notice how she spelled more. She spelled more. M -U -R -R. Yeah. Uh, M U R R. Yeah, not M U U R R. Yeah. Empire as the oldest indigenous group of people of on earth. The registered project number is 215 forward slash 93. These Native American tribes are, now look, see, why did the, 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 the spelling change? Year, right? 1993? Yeah, but why did the spelling change in Moors? Who changed the spelling? Yeah, right. Right, now look what they say. Washita, Yamasi, Iroquois, Cherokee, Choctaw, Blackfoot. Peacock and Mohegan, but one problem about the Cherokee. Let's go to Google. All right, I got you. Look up etymology of Cherokee. Because it's not going to be Cherokee in our language. Hey, Bezel, you own it. But they're trying to trick us. And we ain't falling for it. 
Okay, it means uh most likely check he's an anonym. Hold up, uh Arjun North America, hold up, boom, boom. Let's see, maybe I'll give it right here. The Aracorn that language. It's a it's a uh term from the Aracorn language, meaning oh well, I don't say what it means, just gave a tar r guy. I be fucking up the one. Tar, uh, can you see that? I can't see it. Uh man, that's all I got. Hold on. It says it's an Iroquois language word, which means uh, hold up. Uh, oh, Siragi. Who live in the cave. Those who live in the cave. <laughs> Siragi. That's yeah. what they call. It. Siragi for those who live in the cave. Ain't that something? Yeah. Now, you know the cave was the Pueblo villages on the side of the mountains. Yeah. Those are... Uh, and like those Grottos are, is what it's called. Yeah, you want me to pull a picture up of that so they can see it? You can pull up the meaning of the word grotto. Okay, let's do that. It's G-R-O-T-T-O. G-R-O-T-T-O. All right. Grotto. Grotto... Uh... Uh, uh, let's see. Okay, let me just type in the meaning of the word grotto. See if that pulls it. Caves. <laughs> it says an artificial uh, structure made into resemble a natural cave. Now pull up the uh, Pueblo village. All right. I know I looked up Pueblo yesterday. It means uh, village, just like you said. Uh, they, they keep saying that we just disappeared. We didn't fucking disappear. They just paper genocided us and said we came on slave ships. Oh, these are five dollar Indian. These five dollar Indian tribes: the Cherokee, the pa the Pablo. See, I knew that. When they I was made up names. That's why I'm pointing this shit out because yeah. they made the, They telling you the tribe whose name they was covering up. Right here, they go pictures. You want to see the read read up on? Them. Go second row, far right. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Go back, go back, go back. Second row, far right. All right, right here. The pictures right here. Yeah, we downloaded these pictures. Yeah, that right there. That's it. Uh huh. We had villages like this, you know. When it, it's it's hundreds, it's a hundred and something. Grand degrees. Canyon. It's a hundred and something degrees, man. Those caves right there got air conditioning in them. Yeah, that's right. They automatically air conditioned. That's why we live there. But when our brethren said there's a war going on in the land of the flowers, pull up a map of Florida and put the year 1400 behind it. Um, Raphael, I, we know that the slaves that came on the ships and we know who they was and who they wasn't. We know that it wasn't until the uh, Berlin Conference did they divide Africa mm. and invade Africa, but they was already invading us at that time. And we already know that they rewrote the history to control the narrative that we ain't shit, ain't been shit, ain't gonna be shit. <laughs> so I'm here to tell y'all that we took all that shit that we ain't gonna be, wasn't and wasn't gonna become, and we turned that shit into fertilizer and raised up on their ass and rose from the concrete. Motherfucker. Fuck my tattered goddamn motherfucking leaves, bitch. I rose. You like that you one right see, there? It's going all the way to Louisiana. You see, that's where the uh, where the uh, drain to the Mississippi River is on the far left side yeah. of the picture. Right here. Right. Now, all of that's Florida, mm -hmm. right? Um, but now part of it is Georgia, Alabama, and Arkansas. Mm -hmm. 
That was the land of the flowers before the settlers came. We had forest trees was down there. Um, there, there there's none in the uh, Amazon rainforest to rival them. Yeah, tropical area, yeah. Yeah, we had oh. a lot of trees there. The trees, the women used to decorate the trees with vines that grew flowers. At the top yeah. of the trees, right? Okay. And they used to use the trees had uh they used to carve flower pots in them and grow vegetation so they don't have to come out of the treetops. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's fire. Those are called the Skywalker clans. That's who they got Luke Skywalker name from. The Zulu means Skywalker. Let's go to Google. Let's look up what the meaning of Zulu is. All right, I got you. You had Skywalker clans all around the world. Their color is generally pale blue. We're going to show you all some treetop villages before we get out of here because we need to know the topography that I'm talking about. But first is a certain little stuff that you got to know what you're looking at. What are we pulling up now, Elder? I mean the Zulu. Okay. The word literally means people of the sky. There you go. Damn. Yeah. They mirror they mirror clan over here is called Hopi. Yep, the Hopi. There you go right here. Okay, now go go back to Google. Look, they have same, they got the same clothes on as the Hopi right here. These uh Zulu. Or Zulu got the same as they the same people, right? I just go back to Google. Go no, to they Google. mirror clans, they're not the same people. They yeah, mirror yeah, right. that's right, that's right. Go ahead. Where you want me to go now? Okay, now um, pull up Treetop Village. They still got some. Hey, no, it's, a ga it's a game banger called P the Pyrus in uh. That, that yeah, Pyru Treetop Pyru. Yeah, Treetop Pyru. That's them. They come from that shit too. Yep. The name oh. is all tied back to the tribal meaning of who they are. Damn, that's crazy. Treetop, these guys right here. What you want me to pull it right here? This right here, the, one, uh, the third I... picture at the top from the left. Okay, how do I get, uh, get them? Let me save it in there. All the way to the top row, third pi picture right from here. the left. I think that. No, right that there. ain't them. They got they got scaffolding. Um, right here. They got village. Those are huts. These are some of the treetop villages. You you okay? So we gonna get a couple of different pictures. That's say huts. Save that picture and um. Man, you put in something else. Yeah, we, yeah okay. So next, uh, treetop village scaffold. S C A F F O L D. Oh, oh, maybe hold on. That's what that's what I might chop in wrong. Village. Okay, now let's try. It. Okay. Uh, I want to get an time. idea. See how they walking through the treetops like that? Yeah. These yeah. are Skywalker clans. These ancient Skywalker clans. Yeah. Okay, all right. Go ahead, man. Now, a lot of us don't know it, but the California Redwood, there was trees that made them look little. That right there. Right there. That's how we the, lived in the villages yeah, they, uh, of the treetops. A, a, a car can drive through one of those trees in California. That's how big they is. You can drive. Yeah, like those are little trees compared to what used to be here. We used to these villages. I want we want them to see these villages in the treetops because this was what was in Florida. This is the stuff that these was all down in Louisiana. This one right here. These was all down in Louisiana. That's up in the bayou. That's what they used to look like. Similar to that. This is a different architectural style. This look more Asian than ours. Yeah, but yeah, to like give the people an understanding of how we was living in Florida before they started them big ass forest fires and shit to burn us out in war. 
but this. So the, the deer stand idea and all that come from this shit. Like, hold on, right here, like this right here, pain. It's a good pain right here. Mm. Okay, let's go pull the pictures up so we can get a good look at them. Okay, I got you. You know, this is what the land was like in the South. This was extended. You used to be able to walk the, from Louisiana to the Florida Keys in the treetops like this without never touching the ground. Damn. These was the huts that they had in top. These look like that the people moved out and they since became overgrown. Yeah, yeah, that's right. But but they, this is huts that they used to live in huts like this all through Florida. I never heard of the um, treetop people, man. This is fire. This shit is fire. Southern, southern Georgia, Arkansas, uh, Mississippi, and Louisiana. We had people living in villages like this when the settlers came. This shit is fire, bro. Let's look at some more pictures. Let's go through them. Right? This is how we would connect uh, family structures together. Like, the ones on the uh, left and the right, those might be living quarters, but this might be the community eating cafeteria. Yeah. Right? Because yeah. mm -hmm. right. when they cook food, they had a controlled location to cook so they didn't catch nothing on fire. And they had been doing this shit for thousands of years. Yeah. They never burnt us up. The women never burnt, they never caused forest fires. They probably did in the early days. Uh -huh. But we was up in the treetops for thousands of years. That's why Pyru is a crip motherfucking with the U on his side spelled backwards. They telling you what the fuck these motherfuckers did. This Tuki people. Damn. Go to another one. Let's look at another one. The treetop pyrus, man. They don't even know that they they, 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 they I hope some treetop pyrus watching this shit to say, damn, we probably didn't even know their history. They don't even know that shit about their history. Listen, Pyru. Tuki is what you call a double-headed king. When he started the Crips, him and uh Raymond Washington by default, it made the bloods for him. Uh-huh. So they became the mirror opposites of each other destined to clash until Tukey can straighten it out. Mm -hmm. He got to make amends with the Red House. Do you see this? This was how we used to, this was normal. This was a normal trip to probably to the little village school or something. But we didn't call them schools, but to the village training grounds. Mama walking the baby pops following him. He finna make a left to go to the hunting park. And she finna make a right, take the children where they finna go and sit with the elders and learn their lessons for the day. Now, what 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 you said made us want to go up, become Skywalkers, like some of the clans? We just naturally gravitated toward living in nature, with nature, off nature. Yeah, stop walking on the ground, pretty much. Well, no, it wasn't to stop walking on the ground, right? It was just... <laughs> It was like some people live in skyscrapers, some people live in a ranch house. Okay. This is what it is. So this is now all of the people that have the attraction to the skyscraper, they don't get the view that these people get. Uh -huh. with they, right. right. That's so that's they became right. skywalkers. They come down out of the trees, but they do it on their terms for ritual purposes. As in, they might come down for grounding ritual. <coughs> I'm gonna get some drink. Oh yeah, hey, you dropping some, you dropping some juice because I ain't never heard of the, the the like I heard terms through around like Skywalker this Skywalker there, but I ain't never make a connection with there was uh, some of our native tribes who actually. Went up in trees and started putting connecting these skywalkers together and all their huts, and they make a lot of sense. Now it's a whole bunch of shit just going on through my mind on other shit that I knew that I didn't put together about these people living up in these trees because I didn't see these houses down south going towards like the bayou area, like these type of old huts that's inside of the tree. And I just I just thought to myself, those people probably built a tree house for their kid back in the sixties or something, and it just fell apart. And, but it really is going back to niggas that were skywalkers. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so, go to another picture. All right. 
I guess the last one I had on that one. Uh, besides that's the last one we had, all besides right. This, besides oh. this uh, type of spot, build inscription. Mm-hmm. Look like a more tropical area, like because most of these palm tree area look like in uh, when I went down to Florida, I seen a lot of these trees. Mm-hmm. But that pagoda style looks Asian. Yeah, it looks like it got a hint, uh, like a. It's probably like Philippines or something. Yeah, another influence. You, you but Chinese now, uh, if you go to uh, if you go to YouTube and you look up uh, um, the Great Wall movie Skywalkers, you're gonna see the women. <clears throat> this is this is for a reason. Now, we've been going like uh, almost uh, three hours. We got like about thirty minutes out for three hours. So we're gonna yeah, take, we gonna we take, gonna go over this part. We are gonna wrap it up after this. Cause I'm, <clears throat> my throat getting so dry is making me cough. All right, okay, let's do this. So you say go to what now on YouTube? Remember the movie The Great Wall? The Great Wall. Oh yeah, yeah, I remember that movie. I I, don't, I ain't just do it for anal- I ain't watch it for analyzation back then though. Uh, I might need to watch it for analyzation again. Uh. Mm-hmm. Okay, now behind Great Wall, put in Skywalkers. <clears throat> then, you ever then, heard of the flying with Lindas? No. Nah, hey, so let me ask you this too. While I'm on, while you, while I'm thinking on this, I right, so you get these skywalkers. So would it be people that live on the water on some type of crabs or some like uh, over the water, like this too? Well, you did have some in Florida, and some of the trees was in the swampy areas, but some of that water was deep. Uh huh. So they will walk the trees over bodies of water. You said the Great Wall Skywalker, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. I, I think it's that first one. Let's see. You're gonna see the ladies coming down in the blue. Them the Skywalker oh, class. It's overwhelming at first. But- I'm gonna blow it up. Parachutes, they on bungees. Man, yeah, bungee jumping me. Yeah, that's what I mean. Okay, now <coughs> they skywalkers. Also put in uh, go say where you at, erase that out, put in flying. Walinda, W A L, should pop up. W A L I N D A S. You see that? Yeah. This is a science or a uh, what you would call the gymnastics of Skywalker. They used to do this stuff in family practice. That's what this tribe gets, this family gets it from the Skywalker. This is crazy. They walk in the pole with the circus. circus. They learned this from watching Skywalkers. All this is Skywalker science. Circus performers that have achieved worldwide fame for their death-defying stunts. With a legacy of entertainers and circus acts dating back to 1780, few can match the high degree of skill and showmanship produced by the Walindas over the centuries. Born January 21st, 1905 in Magdeburg, Germany, Carl Walinda would not only become the most prominent member of this his clan, high. but one of the most well-known and gifted Okay, we also had what's called history. Firewalker Clan. Custom- mm-hmm. People all right. by war on fire, yeah. Yeah, the, all of the walking on coals, the walking on coals was just something that they used to do as what you call the pastime. Uh-huh. And it, if you pull it up, you will see that a lot of the old footage is going to be dark skinned melanated people walking on fire. If you get the old black and white footage, 
they thought we was insane because we used to walk across hot volcanoes. But that's another story. We can't do that right now. We'd be, crazy. We'd, we'd be disintegrated. <laughs> but uh, this is the same science. India. Which one you want? It don't matter. You can just, just give them an idea. That's enough to give them an idea of firewalkers. All right, I like this one. <clears throat> okay, then and we used to have clans that used to hold their breath for long periods of time underwater. Water so I pull up right where you at, South African deep diver clan. Say it again. South African diving clan. The last word was that what? Clan. South African. D I V I N G. Clan. Or tribe. It don't matter whatever one you put back there. The driving clan? Right here. Yeah, these people right here. Oh, yeah, I can't show that one though. The third one. Uh, third one. Okay. Yeah, yeah I can't show it because it's going to show. Uh, them with no clothes on. I buy. Are I you see the dude with the red shirt right there? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 these people that died off. The, I know about the African. They, they, when you come like a certain age, right? They take you over. There, they take you over to this tower, and then you gotta dive off. That's how they make it. <laughs> That's a crazy way of becoming a man, but that's what that's part of their tribe. All of this stuff is the different tribal stuff that they erase from us. These are all these other tribes around the world, only mirrors. Yeah, we had every tribe over it. here that was a mirror of the tribes we showing you. The only reason why we playing this out because we got Firewalker Clan, Skywalker Clan. Now we need to know who the Water Clans is. Yeah, that's right. What you what you got on the Water Clan? This is the water clans right here, the divers. Oh, the divers, okay. All right. right, so they can hold a breath. No, this ain't the one. These are, they free divers. This ain't the one that hold their breath for long periods of time. Okay, all right. But you see the uh, bungee jumpers, the skywalkers. Yeah, the jump tower. That's what yeah. that's all about. Yeah, yeah. The divers, like the water clan, the airbenders, like Michael Jordan is from the air clan. That's why they call him Air Jordan. <clears throat> okay, so now, and and I think he Aquarius. He Aquarius too. He fit born in February. Uh, now I'm finna give you one you ain't gonna figure out. What's the earth? What's the earth clan? Oh, you talking about like far as like the uh, the zodiac, or are you talking about as far as like the people? The people. Like, okay, what's the Earth plans? I'm about, I'm about to see you. I'm about to see you. The people who dig underground. <clears throat> mm -mm. I'm about to see you a video. Uh, I sent they, it to they, they actually called the Earth Shakers. It's just, and this women. I'm, I'm trying oh, to yeah, find. Uh, uh, um, you know, some people overseas they dig like whole fucking mansions underground. Like, in, like it's a dude that got a, like a YouTube on it, where they build elaborate like resorts through digging into the dirt. You ever saw them people on YouTube? Mm -hmm. Like, I'm gonna type it in while you look at the way you send me there. I'm gonna type these people in. Oh, let's see, kind of find these people right here. These guys right here. Oh, go back. Damn. What you pulling up? <clears throat> right here, these people that be building them down on the like they be building everything under the, under the ground. Like these, oh yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I know exactly what you're talking about. They, but are they earthbenders? Like earth guys? No, don't. They not. They're not earthbenders. Not I'm the ones I'm like talking them. about. Uh -huh. <laughs> Yeah, they, these head dudes dig a whole goddamn two story mansion underground, man, with a pool, underground pool, and everything in the joint. These little dudes, man, with just a stick, a stick, <clears throat> and and uh, 
a stick and a roll of toilet paper, man. These niggas do a whole, a whole dump. Uh, all I need is a roll of toilet. The roll of toilet paper really just extra. They just really need these sticks right here. And and, and man, they 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 be they be building some shit. Man, I'm telling you. I'm trying to find this uh, because all of these uh, tribes I'm are showing man. you ties to a specific country. Uh huh. <clears throat> and telling the people they can start finding they they energy grid or they energy niche in order to I don't see what I'm looking for. Mm-hmm. To find their energy glitch in order to uh, tune in to better who their ancestors was. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right. Then they won't need me to tell them everything. They'll know it. Mm-hmm. You sent looking- that video, you sent that uh, message to me. I can go on here. I can save it in my light and then I can pull it up. I'm looking for it now. I don't see yeah, but it, 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 these guys get everything they need from nature to build these uh, things. Man, they get the the concrete, the color, the wall, everything. They, they only thing they got is sticks. These niggas got sticks. Are you telling me we was living in some fucking TPs? Man, get the hell out of here, bro. I ain't, I ain't saying you, bro. I'm saying they, they keep on promoting this. Natives was in TP shit. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, nah, these niggas come from us. How the hell we was man? Come on, bro. Yeah, you know, I can't. I, I, <clears throat> I can't find what I'm looking for, but we didn't gave them a lot of information. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's, it's already eleven. Uh, was page twelve. Your your time, 12, 13. So yeah, we so uh, we, we gonna take up? we gonna take about five questions and we are gonna wrap it up. Okay, all right. Hey, what y'all got for the brother Rod? Man, drop them questions in the chat, man. Uh, we going live. We lit. <clears throat> he drop so many Jews every time, man. Like he's here going to archives, man. Every time we got like six, almost seven hundred people on here, man. So uh, somebody drop drop a good uh, good questions, man. We need some five five on fire joints, man, so we can get up out of here, man. Dropping the X. This is uh okay. Who's the Earth with? Oh, you never did. Okay, you can find. We're gonna. Hey, we'll show that on the next tape about the Earth. Bench. Yeah. So this card, uh, the the women that be shaking their hips, right? Yeah. It's called the sway of the matriarch. That's the Earth benders. Oh shit. <clears throat> and then they getting some kind of thing. They getting something from one of the thing. sisters just mentioned it. She knew what I was talking about before I even went into it. Cause yeah. you know, if they've been watching me for a while, I didn't probably showed it on something before. Uh huh. Uh huh. I ain't even about joking, bro. Oh, what I was gonna say, yeah, this class was fire, man. Don't nobody got no questions. Hey, I got a question too. Uh, I got a question. Uh, mm-hmm. to start out, okay. All right. So now that we know that these, uh, and I and I said it, I said it a while back that the five dollar Indians finna get exposed. The, those, uh, I said that's finna come back up. I was saying, it. and uh. <clears throat> The two groups of them, right? The ones yeah. who the ones who decided to take sides with us and work with us. Yeah, they're gonna have their own clan. They're gonna be able to keep the reservation they own and just live there. Yeah. The ones uh, that took side with the enemy, beat it. We don't care where the fuck they go, but they can't stay here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I, 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 I can call some names. I can call some names on them tribes. The one, one of the ones that helped us is the Navajo and the Hopis. Them two right there helped us out. But it's some, but it's like a half and half split on the Navajo because when I was with them, I know the Pueblos, they ain't with us. All them niggas that, I'm, I'm going to tell you, bro, all them niggas that took the casino deal, man, that, that's some niggas we got to look at. We got we to gotta fag them niggas that took the casino deals, like the Cherokee, the Pueblo, everybody you name, that's, that's, that's the dirty niggas. What you don't know is this. <clears throat> about those, those, uh, Casinos, yeah. A lot of tribes was invented specifically to open a casino. Oh, that's what I'm saying. The Pablos and but the look, This is what I'm telling you. We 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 understand what happened. Uh huh. They gonna have options because we finna get rid of all that old gambling. Uh huh. They can either help the clans that they neglected, 
or they can lose everything they got. We'll take care of the neglected clans. That's where they at with it. Uh huh. Uh huh. We talking about the other ones, like the ones that they called the poorest tribe in America is in Arizona. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. These motherfuckers living off the dirt for real. <laughs> and it don't have to be that way. I couldn't yeah. understand how we had um, different um, casino tribes and then we got tribes that's dirt poor and the ones with the casino aren't reaching to aid the ones that's struggling. That's uh -huh. what our culture tell us to do. They following somebody else's culture or orders. Uh-huh. 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 Okay. Uh let's see. If we got now. Uh, say, so can we make a stargate or portal with comedic ma uh mathematics? I guess they talk, I guess they go on into on about the mirror too. Uh they this is connection. The, the question, mirror. listen to that question. Ask that question again now. Can we make a stargate or portal with comedic mathematics? Yeah. What I mean, group of people do what group of people do they tell us knew about portals and stargates? What group of people did they tell us knew about portals and stargates? Uh the they tell us in anarchy, in anarchy, the Samaritans. No, no, no. I'm talking about now, not the not the ones in Antarctica, because those are Atlanteans, those are before the modern groups of people, Egyptians, Mayans. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah. Mayans not known for stargates. No. They had them, but they ain't known for that. No. The Tibetans are not known for stargates. They got them, but they not known for that. Yeah. The Sumerians got stargates, but they not known for that. Yeah. But we know when we talk stargate, we talk in ancient Egypt. Yeah. As soon as we bring Stargate up, yeah. when you watch the movie Stargate or anything dealing with Stargate, it takes you straight to Egypt. That's right. That's a, that's a fact. So who the fuck mathematics is they using? They're using... Uh, really, I'm going to tell you, man, that they, they really... It comes down from the beings that the the the, uh, rich, the Anarchists. They built the Stargate using that... We'll go back to the original question because you're taking them too far past yeah, the answer. Yeah. Okay, yeah, the, the ancient, yeah, that's what it's basically true. It's basically true, true answer. The Chemites, it is mathematics. Uh, the Stargate is chemic mathematics. It's the same, all the same mathematics. Right, because anytime they tell us about comedic sciences, they're talking about portals and stargates. Yeah. Anytime they're telling us about stargates and portals, they take us back to Egypt. That's right. That's got to be the math that they're using, or else they wouldn't keep referencing them. <clears throat> what else they got? Symbols of kill. Uh, uh, Egypt is Tennessee, right? The OG Egypt. Okay. Can you explain how we sprung from the earth? Bible talks about how a dolphin sees the planet. It is diff different, this different, a different time. So could, let me run me read it again. Can you explain yeah. how we sprung from the earth? Bible talks about how dolphins seeded the planet. Is this a different time? <clears throat> Before the dolphins was brought down here with genetic material as incubators. Dolphin means wound, by the way, too. Excuse me. Before the dolphins was brought down as incubators for the uh, transport. See, dolphins was only used to transport you from Mars. Transport you from Mars to Earth. Uh-huh. From the Sedona complex on Mars specifically to Titi, uh, uh, Teohocan in Mexico specifically. Or Central America. Right. So that's what they was used for. Before then, we as a, a being would incarnate on Earth when we wanted to. We would normally come in small groups to learn lessons about balance in this environment. And then we would ascend back up 
naturally, but the collapsing of the fourth dimension into the third to create it, an infinity loop was supposed to eternally enslave us um, with Anunnaki science. But some motherfucker named Tahuti figured out the way out of the uh, infinity loop. And so they wanted to keep that nigga shut as long as they can. Shut your mouth, nigga, sit down. All right, we'll take this last one, then I'm, we're going to get out of here, man. They say, what really happened to Prodigy of Mob D? I never looked into it because, I'm going to tell you why I didn't look into Prodigy. Okay. I've seen Prodigy in the video. You say, if, if uh, Tupac was, to, was here right now, we'd be on the same fucking team. Then I heard uh, his uh, bandmate was talking about a notebook that Tupac left for Prodigy, right? Mm -hmm. And the notebook gave Prodigy certain keys to unlock who he was. So I didn't look into it because if Tupac did that, they would have took him out of danger if they thought there was a hit on his life. Mm -hmm. So I didn't even bother to look into it. I could tell you DMX ain't dead. I know that. Um, I can tell you ODB ain't dead. Mm -hmm. I can tell you C Murder ain't dead. C Murder didn't want to be <laughs> C Murder a motherfucker. Look at all of the guys that they had to go get because somebody was trying to kill him. C Murder gave him the hardest fucking time. He was like, fuck it. Huh? Why was they trying to kill C Murder? I know he connected with the families though down on the land because he a miller. The Millers, they connected with the uh, Washington. Listen, see, murder was about to uh, expose the whole um, Dirty Moor side of the industry in one failed swoop by exposing a homosexual agenda and what it was about. Yeah, now it makes sense. <clears throat> about to see. So he was getting on their nerves, and Bun B can't tell him in good conscience Nigga, shut the fuck up for you get us killed. He he can't tell him that because he feel the same way. He just no, carries Pimp himself Pimp different. Pimp C. Pimp C. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, Pimp C. You got uh, Pimp C, then uh, C Murder, too. He a Miller. And then Pimp C connected with that same family because he, he, like, all I'm connected, I'm telling you, man. Pimp C, the one I'm talking about because yeah, they, yeah, they found him so-called dead in Arizona in the hotel. Yeah, they, 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 they put the chick on him. They smoke. Yeah. They, they get. They Listen, got them up. That nigga about dead as you is, young girl. But he don't like none of this shit. That nigga gonna cuss some niggas out and slap some niggas in his hood when he get home. Hey, you know something, though, Rod? You say that like, you be saying shit like that, and then it come up later. Then you find out, oh, this nigga ain't. Like, like, Rod was already tell, telling niggas this a month, eight months ago, or three months ago. That like you said, the queen was still living, and I mean, or, or, or dead or whatever. And then they pop up later, and then they announce it. So, like, the shit you be saying, niggas be taking it light. And they be taking it, you be just talking shit. But I know, man, what you be saying, though. I know what you be yeah. saying. I, yeah. the, the sister say you meant Pimp C. Yeah, I, Keisha, I meant Pimp C. I was saying C murder, but I meant Pimp C. That shit, I'm telling you, man. Like, UGK. So Look, this alive. nigga hard to handle. He want to pee. This nigga say, I need to shine. I need to be out front. I can't let these old sour motherfucking niggas hold my motherfucking swag down. I need to shine. And um, so Bun B trying to tell him, look, man, we got to do what we got to do to save your life, man. We can shine later. He like, fuck that shit, nigga. I'm shining now. You know, that's the shit he was on. He, he was like, he, but uh, Bun B got to sign off on the extraction because that's his OG. Hey, let me ask you something on the connection with that, too. Hey, so Jay Prince, uh, I, I know he, he he got that he got a last name that connects with uh, the tribe on the land too, and so you think that Jay Prince is one of the chiefs on the land? Is he one of the chiefs on the land? And he Jay Prince regularly flips me when talking messages. Regularly. Go ahead, because I believe he one of the chiefs. That nigga, he he's short too, like a twat, like one of them twat niggas. Man, I'm telling you, like then. So listen, when they was extracting Biggie. That's the only person that Biggie 
and Tupac trusted to oversee it. And Larry Hoover. Yeah, Larry was locked up though. He couldn't oversee it from uh-huh. where he was at. But I'm talking about when they extracted Biggie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. One of the motherfucking chiefs from the land have to be present to make sure that you're not getting killed for real. Damn, bro, this shit is dope. You just you, you cracking me, man. So Biggie didn't trust nobody from the West Coast. Tupac didn't trust nobody from the East Coast. Tupac didn't trust half of the West Coast, and Biggie didn't trust half of the East Coast. The only motherfucker they both agreed on that they both would trust was Jay Prince. Hey, you know, so he he oversaw the extraction and made sure that Biggie was safe. And you know, some of that dude Haitian Jack, he looked like one of them dirty more niggas, the same niggas that <laughs> tried to Listen, kill. Listen, man, Pop. look, don't feed into that shit. Haitian Jack is the one who told Pac the twenty-two year conjure how to play the hand and how to turn it around and then mm-hmm. took him all over New York to introduce him to all the motherfucking shady characters he had to get the juice from. Man, so you, you got to understand how the, how the game is played with the Chiefs. If uh, So Tupac say in the song, heard he was light-skinned, stocky with a Haitian accent. Jury fast cars and he's known for flash. Listen while I take you back and lace this track. A real live tale about a snitch named Haitian Jack. Now, if you don't know how to read paperwork, right there, you've already been thrown the fuck off. Because Haitian Jack never told on Tupac. Right. Now, the reason why he said that is in order for the conjure to be uh, validated when he's knocking for the next person, they have to know who's sending you, nigga. What land they from? Haitian Revolution, it's a carryover. Haitian Jack was carrying out the Joaquin Pillar flip. But the enemy all the time, czar entertainment. What the fuck is a czar? Right. Right. That was the Moorish title for the heads of state of Russia. And then Kozov. Right. And this is Jimmy Hinchman punk ass. He did motherfucker who was doing the dirt. That's why 50 Cent had to double back on his ass. 50 Cent job was to make the nigga show his hand without telling on the nigga. That's why Tony Yayo shot, slapped his son. He the one called them niggas there to, to, to rob Tupac, talking about discipline. They supposed to pistol whip him, took his shit, and left him laying there. Man, so this, this is a lot of alchemy going in the background that's still generating towards Big Mama making her move, and her, making her move, making her move on the chessboard. And shit, there's like a lot of shit going around our head that we ain't looking at. Like yeah, this. like Shaq G ain't dead. That's crazy. Yeah, Shaq D Shaq, Shaq, Shaq G wanted to go spend some time with Pac before the motherfucking storm come, before all this shit hit the motherfucking fan. He wanted to go sit with his homeboy, smoke a blunt without worrying about is they coming for us. And it's the niggas you say that's coming for him. Could you point them, could you fang them niggas real quick? The niggas that said. Who are the niggas that's coming for? I want you to say it for the for the crowd. The Dirty Moors, the Dirty the Conquistadors, the Jewish Defense League specifically is the paramilitary assault team of assassins they sending. Oh yeah, get them niggas raw. All right, man, we about to get ready to get up out of here. You dropped the mic on that part right there. I think it just dropped the mic on that part. Walk out. You know, you know, I don't give a fuck. Fuck them. Hey, he just dropped. The, he just dropped. The, I I busted in here with the mic, elder. Let that nigga with the banana on belly when it when uh <laughs> when uh DMX and uh Nas them was riding riding clean in that three hundred when it first came out and they was in the, uh Nebraska and that nigga eat that banana. He said, "I'm gonna drop the dime on them niggas. <laughs> I'm gonna drop the dime on them niggas." Rod just dropped the dime on them niggas, man. We out, man. Look. Hit some, hey, I got one last question I got to answer before we go. Go ahead, go ahead. 
Um, the brother K. Bazell say, who are the good Moors? The good Moors is the ones who's trying to do the work in the community and uplift fallen humanity and following the righteous steps of Noble Drew Ali. And the dirty Moors is the ones pushing the dogmatic agenda to make you subservient as a citizen under the false pretense of being a national of a Moorish nation that never existed. That's the difference. That's fire. Now, I guess you could drop the mic then now on that one. <laughs> Boom. Oh, I my the mic, my nigga. The nigga just broke the mic tonight, man. So hey, you gotta hey, this right here was a fire class, man. We've been dropping number bangers back to back, man. So we're gonna do another one next week. So uh just hit me up, Raw Let me where you know you want to do the next one. Uh we can do it this weekend. Well, Saturday I got it. I'm gonna be busy all day. Well, but... all you gotta do is if you know what the next subject is, because I'm just carrying over from the last video right now. When and, I come up, it with... was fire because you said you, you you connect some more dots for me. You know what I'm saying? Some more dots, but the tree mm -hmm. the Skywalker thing. I'm gonna look into that hard now. That's yeah, dude, that's what that's Tuki. Them Skywalkers, the crooked man, the lightning yeah, bolt walking across the land. Yeah. That's his symbol. The sea walkers crooked walking is the symbol of him walking while he's in chains. Now, now some of my crips, some of my <coughs> crips, I, I, I used to be well from Hoover, but some of my crips might say, Oh, Tookie didn't start the crips. Uh Raymond Washington started the crips. So <coughs> but, but they but they both were chiefs on the land because the name Washington is like I already made that <coughs> and Tookie was Tookie Williams. Listen. listen. We not arguing anything against Raymond Washington. If we respect Tukey, we respect Raymond Washington and we respect Tukey as being his spokesperson. Okay. If Raymond Washington not here, his right hand man next in command was Big Tukey. That's right. Period. So we don't have no problem with that. that that's their house. They know the order, the structure, and how it's supposed to work. That's not really our business. Yeah, yeah. Only thing we have to recognize is the reigning chief on the land. When <clears throat> I was fucked up when I thought Tuki was dead, I find out later on that the nigga was frozen. Damn, bro. They, and they've been doing that shit for a long time. They, they, they was already doing it when they showed us the movie Devolution Man. They was already like 20, 30 years ahead of the game in freezing people. Look, go to Google and say how many people are currently in cryostasis. All right, hold on. It'll be the this last, last month before we jump punch out, this is going to be the headbanger right here. Because yeah, 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 watch yeah. how many people they got frozen waiting to be thawed out. <clears throat> this is for my West Coast clan. Motherfucking sea walkers and bee walkers out there. Hey, now spell that cryo... C R Y O S T A S I S. Uh -oh. Put it on the screen so they can see it. Uh, A T. Hey, spell cryo again. I got it almost. C R Y O S T A S I S. Okay, cryo. Okay, I got it. Okay. There's over 200, 250 people. No, no, it says around 1,500 people. Can you, put it on, can you put it on the screen before we cut out? Let them uh, see. This is right as big as I can get it. I guess, hold up, let me. Uh, uh, it says more than 300 people let their body be cooled. 300 and some people, negative 200 Celsius. And preserve the liquid nitrogen in hopes of someday in the future, science will be able to cheat death and make them wake up from the sleeping beauty state. Before they can be okay to do that, they have to have a means to thaw you out. Exactly. And they already thawed Tuki out. That's when um, Kanye West had that fucked up haircut. Yeah. That was to honor Tuki. Then, because Kanye, uh, know, Kanye West know about that facility. That, that yeah, facility. not only that, Baba cut his hair too. Yeah. For all of that was for Tuki. 
uh, I don't know if Angel Bay cut his, but nine out of ten, that's who he was working out with. That's that's who. Uh, so he probably cut his hair. They all probably bald head. Yeah, yeah. That's deep, man. That's deep. We're gonna drop the mic on this one, man. Uh, <laughs> it's law, peace, and love throughout the Browns universe. I should. Uh, we out, man. This right here was a lot of like, my brain got to take. I'm gonna go to sleep on this one right here, and my brain finna think of all these different shit that you see, and I'm finna piece it together in my mind. I got some good pictures too. So we thank the brother Rod Hayes for coming out, man. That's uh, kicking with us, man. We we uh, you probably have your ball cap probably explode, so we forgot to put the ball cap disclaimer before the tape, man. So uh, my bad. We gonna make sure we announce that shit next time, though. Hey, we, we out this thing, man. We'll holler at the uh we're gonna be back on though tomorrow, Friday, man. So uh make sure y'all have a peace, uh love tomorrow. Just think positive, you know what I'm saying? Keep moving forward. We're gonna keep bringing it, bringing these bangers to you, man. We out, man. All right, brother Rod, peace. Why do what do?